awkward situation. Uh, many of the party are huge. The tunnels are merely large. Change from Aquas. Yeah, I'm um, not global. Oh yeah, of course, of course. I'm you just changed the world map there. so we couldn't strategize it. <coughs> we couldn't sneakily move ourselves long enough to 10 feet. <laughs> I've always been in front of uh, Moonsong, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, and it is, uh, it is Leon's turn. It is my turn, okay. Um... How does it work again in 2e? Like, if you can move through someone, it doesn't take extra movement, right? It doesn't, however, he told us last yes. session that due to our size, we cannot move through uh, yeah, each yeah, other. Also, why are you extra big? Already huge, because you guys are you're right, extra big. Right. Right. Oh, right, he just shrunk us down for being yeah, yeah, to fit in the tunnels mm. for the dynamic lighting purposes. But yeah, you are all huge, squeezing through large space, and therefore cannot move past each other. Okay, so but but back just to the that's just, just, just affecting. I don't know what I said last time, but that's just affecting the huge creatures. By the way, like Asic, you can still move through oh, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Especially since you're yeah. flying. So I will. I'm technically flying right now, right? Can I? So I'll I'll, I'll fly down. So I'm walking like here. I'll fly to the sure. ground as my first action. Shrink down. Then, yeah, like would would back technically be in my aura? He's so big. Uh, no. No, not by... Mm. No, he would have to, because like all four of the squares that way are occupied by Bromoth anyway. Feet, and so, yeah. no. Like, technically, all the all the allowances, Bromoth would have to occupy like 15 feet between you anyway. It's all, mm. it's all so high I'm just feet. soaking up all that goodness. So, mm. it, cannot, it cannot reach back. Hello. Hey. Hey. I guess I'll, I'll shout to Asik and say... Go and get ahead. Help out Munso. And I'll give my last Oh well no, I I, I ace it. So but I'll give you two action uh, wait, let me let me actually read this. Okay, oh no, I can use one action to make you move. So Okay Um to battle, let me check. There's one action with you so it will take your reaction, but now you can stride. I don't think you make him move. I think he has free will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can choose not to take the reaction, of course, of course. I just want to be man. <laughs> okay, get in there, friends. <laughs> I'll I'll try to squeeze through. I, do I just give my full movement? Yeah, you can just get your full movement. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do. My... But it is your reaction. Do any of them? I don't need reactions. Do any? That's true. Then, what did I enter? Oh, uh, it's Moonsong. Sorry, that's good. All right. That's my third. You okay. entered Moonsong. Um. And I can't. Just... Maybe I should have delayed that. Um, no, I mean, what? Yeah, you couldn't read delay, you're flying. You barely move, you can use two actions, barely move, but. He's used two actions now, though? Yeah. yeah. I guess I will just give Claudia some actions to make her move up. Hmm. How long does it take Claudia to get big and small again? Yeah? She should do it whenever. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good shout. I think it's one actually. Let me double check. Sorry, I thought I had my turn plan out, but thought you'd be in my aura. The inventory. Asp. Uh, a single action. Check. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so I'll make. I'll probably I'll come over here and like. Hmm, no, that's this. And then I will move here and a cloud can stand up here. Yeah, that works. Okay, that's my turn. For a free action to move there, use your last action to move there. Yeah. Cool. Back. Yeah. Moonstorm shouted something, right? Like, you're something about the direction or like which was the right way. I can't remember what you shouted. I think I said that there's a um, sandy room up ahead. Uh, Maybe there. I don't think I said anything different. I hate sand. Okay. Uh, mm, as I start to move, mm, it's been less than a minute since I got my boat. Everyone's got a minute long boat, which is still got ages left. Mm -hmm. So my move speed is 30 plus 25, so 55. Half to 25. Uh. Yes, that's one movement. 
Here's a spot you can get out of the way so I can squeeze through. Uh, hopefully the big sunny room will be open, maybe. I don't know. Oh man, there's all these other ways down here, huh? Fuck. Whatever, I'd go another... Is that why the map is still talking? I guess I'll shout back, uh, actually, like, uh, towards, uh, kind of, Dwarmok and Leon. I'll be like, Why are you having this? I should end this? And, and you being good? You can wait, you can dismiss stuff, right? No, you could, uh, can you... Actually, maybe I don't know, maybe you I might believe it's an action? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, can I do it? Mm. Dismiss. dismiss. You can end one magic effect, one spell effect. This might be effect you're allowed to dismiss, as defined by the spell or item, what the fuck. Mm. Some spells, oh, so some spells say you can dismiss and some can't? Yeah. Enlarge. Uh, oh no, maybe not, it's a situation, it doesn't say anything about you can dismiss it. Alright, guess who not, baby? I don't shout that back, so it's like I just keep shouting, like screaming and running. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe there'll be somebody that hit, so instead of moving twice, I'll use sudden charge for my next two. So, 25. 25, you can maybe big in Chris, and then I take a swing at something. Is there anything else? Uh, okay, sorry, no, hang on. So, what, what um... As you step into this sandy oh, no. room... Maybe okay. I need a description before I sand any Christian. I don't know how sandy we were talking. As you step into the... It, it doesn't, it just looks sandy, like normal sand as you, as you go, but as you step onto it... Immediately, the whole floor begins churning and um, like sifting and shaking around you, and, and you like your boots begin sinking into it. You're not like you're not all of you isn't like sinking down into it, but it is greater difficult terrain to move around My in God, here. Oh God, so much difficult terrain. So okay. difficult. So I guess I get a little bit less far. A little bit less. You probably make it like maybe an extra one move in here or. Probably just step into it, to be honest, yeah. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Well, let's make sure three actions. I guess uh, maybe top okay, right. Yeah, and now, like, yeah, it's like you can see the whole room is like, it's shifting and uh, and, and changing. I'll maybe top right. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, now you are no longer squeezing. People can move through you as per usual. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Moonsong. Um, of course, they would need enough movement if they weren't flying to allow them to get through your space and great yeah. difficult terrain. But how tall is this room? Uh, that's an interesting question. I never actually considered that. Let's say twenty feet, twice okay. as like twice like the tunnel. Um. Well, I'm gonna move closer. That's that's fifteen. I'm currently walking anyway, so that would be like that's fifteen. It looks suspiciously where like a room where you might have fought a boss for the second third of its health bar if Oh damn it. Taking it all the way down to the last third of its health bar in one go. Shit. <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, how far can I, like, can I... Great the terrain is... How much was, like... It means you need four feet per foot. It's You're like flying, a right? double, double, double. You do have the flying I icon. I can start flying, yeah. I have the wings out. Wait, isn't your ability some shit that you levitate or some shit? Isn't that, like, your oh, that's curse? Like, like, three curses in. Oh, what, how many curses? Aren't you always three curses? I don't, I, don't, I don't fucking cast those spells anyway, really. Oh, what? What, what's what, 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 the nice thing is, yes, if you were flying and then great. you do your movement to start flying, that is the action to maintain the flight that and round. So, does your, am nice. I like insane? Does your aura I gave you... I've just thought of this interaction now. It's an interesting thought. So do anything about difficult to plan? It? Uh, or is it just no, like... Find it. Uh, uh... No. No. no mental damage, no. okay. Cool. No, it's just... Oh! Shit. Wow. Oh. Okay, that's gonna be relevant later, though. Hey, shut up. <laughs> oh, wait, I heal a bit. But I've got, like, level half my level healing for me to put that on. Have you oh, yeah, fair. Sure, you do. Do I do? If everyone doesn't do that, just in a uh, How big is the gateway? Oh, wait a minute. Is the, the gateway, gateway just as, as the tunnel, same size? Yeah, yeah. The tunnel just opens out into this, like, chamber just that's that, 20 feet tall. That's. And... That I mean, you can just. You can freely move through backspace. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. 
but want to maximize movement. So if I start here, this is okay. So this is twenty feet. This would be. Nah, shit. No, I can't move twice. No way. Twenty so movement. Forty. You can move thrice. Yeah. That's no. twenty after two diagonals. So that would be five, so that'd be another twenty. So you would need forty yeah, to move into there, yeah. and, and then another twenty to move. You need sixty to move there. Yeah, no, nah, that's not happening. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take off, uh, take off the line, and I will, like, I'll fly into the room, up a bit, here. Oh, yeah, wait a second. Take it back, I take it back. Um, oh, we take it back, huh? Uh, <laughs> Using an action to fly back, I heard you. <laughs> That's it, it's all three, a good time. <laughs> uh, I, I need to see it? something, is it giving me my speed? Uh, is it... Yeah, yeah. <coughs> No, it was just like, because uh, I also want to keep up the spell. That's mm -hmm. why. That's the thing. Uh, <laughs> No, fine. I guess I'm. Uh, no, you know, this, <laughs> fuck it. I'm just gonna fly up here. I'm up, not on the floor. I'm up ten feet, and then I concentrate on. Yeah, that's like what you do. Almost took back anyway. Yeah, yeah, but I was considering landing on the other side, and I was like, wait a second, mm -hmm. I want to change something. Uh, yeah, okay. that's my turn. Reasonable, Bromok. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's the way ahead of me. You're squeezing. I know. Specifically, not actually, Chris. We, you know, the action squeeze only moves you five feet, and it's exceptionally tight. True. true. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just yeah, difficult yeah. terrain. Yeah, yeah correct. Right. Really using the squeezing. <laughs> All right, cool. So I click my heels yeah. together to make me immune to normal difficult terrain and to all forms of non-magical difficult terrain. So slide issues. <laughs> yep. Slippery and plus five movements. So now I have more difficult terrain. And let's you know, just read where the what the squeezing says. If it says you basically treat it as difficult terrain. Squeeze, the squeeze doesn't mention anything about this. Squeeze yeah. like it's specifically decide. It's like you squeeze through something so small you can barely fit through. Like it's okay, I see. And in the front line, it's just many types spaces are difficult terrain. Oh, they, they are difficult terrain. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, That's yeah. all I need to hear. Yep. So this definitely, yeah, this is non-magical difficult terrain. So this allows these lubes up the walls. Basically for um, me, yeah. And so I can now move 65 yeah. feet. Ooh, baby, speedy. So, oh, so speed. I need to do checks to actually do the right. Because the problem is I can't see, like, ahead of me, so it's 25 feet. Yeah. 35. Does flying give the same movement as your land speed does, right? Uh, yeah, so it just it matches my land speed, and because of other spells I have, long nice. trader and stuff yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, I have yeah. 60 yeah. base, I just got plus 5, so it's 65 both. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I do couldn't remember if fly was low even. Or sorry, it's, it's, 20, it's 25, it's also one that's diagonal, so your next diagonal six. is gonna be... Now you go, you go one yeah. less than that, because you got one... You oh, they, that's 60, I have 5 diagonal. more feet, because I have oh, yeah. 65 okay. right now. Okay, cool, yeah, so that's, that, that's as far as you can go then. Okay, in one action, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, and then I will fly up, <laughs> um, which again, I don't have difficult terrain, so I have my full movement even flying, as long as it's equally horizontal as vertical, it's just normal difficult terrain. So how tall, tall is the ce ceiling in this room? Uh, 20, I think I decided. Oh. So like, I'm five feet above the ground, because I'm tall. Uh, I still think uh, it counts as it, because the boots of kind say you ignore different terrain when moving on the ground. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying, like, the problem is if you if you are going straight up, it's different. It's as long Okay, as so you're, you're saying you're not going to go straight up, I thought you said you could go Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... 30-ish, whatever, to there. Let's see, think okay. Five to the... there. Jesus Christ. Where? Which way do we go? I smell the ass. Yeah. <laughs> if I wishing I had scent ability. Means it's 25. 40. Nice. 
Is it, is it the dead ender? Is it a door or what am I hitting? Uh, here? You, there's a dead end there. Fucking good, shit. Good scouting, good scouting, good scouting. I mean, would I figure that out from here? Yeah, though? yeah, you, yeah okay. you'd, you'd have figured that out from there for sure. Unless it's an okay. illusionary one. I know, Jump I through it. This. Uh, they, at this point, you would have come in here and realized fully, yeah, they're just both like solidly dead ends. Okay, so then I go to there, and that's the end of my turn. Three uh, moves yeah, to there. Okay. Quick and action. Cool. Yeah, you mad. technically, yeah, you were technically huge while you were in the room, but you never bothered with yeah, that. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Um, cool. Asic. I, I shall cool. follow my friends mostly because I love quicksand. I want to see it. Right. Right. You're gonna get swallowed immediately. Nice. <laughs> okay. Fifteen and fifteen is thirty, so it's first. What do we see? Nothing. Nothing. Not a damn thing. I don't, can I see the aura? Maybe I see the aura. Oh, yeah, you see some ghostly. Uh, <laughs> uh, nice orbit, yeah. Are all visible? Are some orbits visible? I don't know. Um, yeah. Sure. Oh nope, I went too far. Yeah. Well, so like an enemy would see it as well. But mm -hmm. uh, it all depends on the description of the aura. Because some of them, it's like you me. emit light in an aura equal oh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would see that. Well, but yeah. Move otherwise, no. half speed through this. I guess technically, if like they had true sight, uh, right? you, you know, you're not fighting. You're not fighting. I don't think so. You move no. more speed through this. Aura just like a water. And it's, you just jump on my back. I just see you mess around with yeah, this. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, get out of there, Asik. Why do you have the flying symbol if you're not flying? Yeah, that's what you uh, were flying. I landed in the end of the, like, when you're entering the tunnel. But you can just get up again. But uh, as long, you're I flying, can, but, it's just... But, oh, uh, I, I am not Bromo, and I lose movement speed when I fly. Oh, uh, okay. But, you lose uh, even more movement speed when you walk through four times difficult terrain. That is true. I mean, I, I moved the token there without seeing the difficult terrain. But, uh, you know, if Beck says Ooh. jump on, I'll jump on his shoulder. Get on! Here's a, here's a question. Um, if he was s small ASIC, uh, very small, did he just like run a on top of it and avoid it? Like, would the, he even triggered the weight on the quicksand? Yeah, like, uh, like, it, it looks like it's, it looks like the whole thing is like swirling. Right? It's not just like when I yeah, stand. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I missed like, that. Beck's like, you know, yeah, like the whole surface is like actively, like, was not, but when Beck stepped in, like activated the whole room and it began like churning. God and damn it, Beck. It's good now. No, um, up to back. It's like back up to you. So you want to you want to climb on? Yeah, I can back. do two actions to move here, and then I'll have one left to climb on, or like I don't know, grab his uh, sleeve. We're gonna do acrobatics. Okay. Like by riding he does get kind of complicated actually. You get no, basically. Uh, if, if, yeah, there's no, rules for now. You just have to use an action on your turn to. So you basically, yeah, you're, you're, you're 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 both each because we're like communicating. Yeah, you're both kind of, and this, this counts as Asic's action for this turn as the mounting action. So basically, yeah, on back turn you're going to have to use an action for Asic to be mounted. Otherwise, you're going to drop him. Yeah, yeah, I'll drop him. Uh, about it. <laughs> I'll just ride over until we're no longer over the quicksand. I'll just like shove him off because so I do worry about it. Uh, mm. probably not technically illegal. Nice. Okay. Um. Okay. We're all tied. I shall. Is the end of your turn. On its turn, who knows what it could be up to? Hmm. Who knows? Uh, Leon. Oh, that was fast. Um. Okay. So. What? Right now. Difficult terrain, so normally 40, only 20. My god. Um, oh, hang on, it was... What, wait, I need to hang on or can I do my turn? No, yeah, hang on, hang on. It was previously enfeebled too. Why was it enfeebled too? And is it no longer... The bomb or something? Yeah, I think the bomb is into an end next turn. It's from the uh, the Ghost Cascade. Yeah, enfeebled too into a study on next turn. So it would have gone cool, and it. also it has five something? Persistent uh, charisma Persistent. damage, probably. Persistent, good damage. Charisma damage. Persistent good damage from the, uh, what's it called? Is this some positive damage? Is that no, it would be good damage. It would, it would be positive, right? It would be good. Wouldn't it, it maybe ask a kid with like a... It's my reaction. Positive right? grenade or something? Oh, sticky yeah. grenade? It's saying five. Is it, if it's five, is it five that's got to be... Wrong. Five, five like, is... Leon, no, wait, right? Five is Leon. Five is Leon. Leon. Yeah, yeah, I think it's Leon. That's yeah. Leon's persistent good. Yeah. yeah. Got why is it, why is it blue, then? Because uh -huh. you, you think uh, it's, it's used yellow for good. Oh, whatever. Okay, saying those five is good. Cool. This is it got the same weakness to both, right? Um, 
And if it's if one it has a big weakness to one of them, it's that one. <laughs> uh Hey. Be here is fuck go fucking stupid good shit. Leon, you're up. One. Okay, god damn it. <laughs> Over Elion, follow the sound of my voice! Where is the sound of his voice? I'm assuming this way? Uh, he, is that he, the... he does see the smart cookie. Can you see the ogre? <laughs> oh, I can now, okay. Uh, let's see. 20. Oh, I'm in the, I'm in the over, baby. It's double ogre. Okay, so I have one more action. I guess I'll start flying, which is only. Oh god. Normally 35, I'm pretty sure. You're still squeezing while you're flying at first. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Okay, so you see what my. So the storm means plus 10 feet, normally 25. So 35, which is half to. Uh, 15. Okay. So. 5. Do, is there enough space for me to like if I fly up like to be above back? Probably not, right? Uh, no. It's if really we if we kind of generously do like five on the diagonal yes, to begin. Why are we three way higher? I said it was so oh, fucking bullshit. <laughs> then kind of should have been sixty-five, not fifty. Like what do we? What if we say ten? Oh, yeah, Leon and has. then you <laughs> kind of move twice because now you're still overlapping. Now there just isn't really room. There just isn't really room for you to get out yeah. with one action this turn. From uh, okay, wait. Can you take me back to where I was? Then? Where were you? Like here, right? Yeah, I think, I think like, so. you're like here. Yeah. No, you're you're on here because I started yeah. with a diagonal, like five, yeah, ten, right. and I tried to scam it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. That's what exactly. you cool. Um, in that case, I, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll use my action to have you use a reaction so you can move okay all right hold it's on. Move. hurry it up double time uh, uh, okay <laughs> that, i've talked down the dead i guess i'll head straight up so i realize i actually have 65 movement so i should so that would be quarter to 15. also i i can no longer see her do, I, do I fall but, though but she would use a free no spell. no no you're on top of me do you have to use an action to keep me up there? Yeah, but this isn't my, it isn't my turn. You're on my turn. I have to use an action. Okay. So. Right. You can just hop off now into the, you know, onto the stone, I'm sure, anyway. Look at you right next to it. Alright, I'm trying. I'm on my way. Oh, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, I move so... It, hmm. It's always going to be difficult for me. When does it become difficult? So if when I'm here, this is one. This this is twenty. This is twenty feet of movement. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But if I and then if I try to like go into like a two by two and go up here, it's still really difficult, right? Um. Yeah, that move to there is greater difficult. Okay, so that's so. no. So that's forty. Uh, now yeah, plus that is normal, but normal difficult. Yeah. So I have another ten normal movement left in my thing. So this is where I go on my third move action. Uh, I mean, I'll use like, I mean, I'm not going to cheat it. I need to, I only have two actions, but I'll use, as like him mounting me, I'll just use an action to like place him down gently, you know, so he doesn't fall off or some shit. Sure. Yeah. And I'll yeah. use my last action, so now I have 30 feet movement, Big so that's 15. Oh, sorry. Oh, and then, ooh. <sighs> Choices. Mm, five. Are these both dead end? Uh, you can't quite make it out. I mean, these both dead ends. Wait, no, you should. Okay, you should be able to from that square, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, no, you can just peek and see that there's one dead end down here, but there is another turn up. Uh, okay, that's got to be it then, baby. So, okay, oh shit! I know I'm in the wall, Chris. Help me. <laughs> He's at uh, five. ten feet left, so I'll go up there for my final. Okay. So I'll just like shout back. It's like it's a maze, but it's still going. That's okay, Moon I Song. Smash the wall with my sword, you know, because I have that quick and Smash. Oh, and he waited again. Nice. Almost figured out there's nothing there. Let's fly this way. Ooh, hey. That's... No, I imagine not. I imagine having your full movement. 
Imagine just being able to zoom. I do have 65 feet, so now I am moving 30 feet base anyway. Like, worth, just, I didn't anticipate that this was going to be... I didn't. You've never all gone huge before. Like, yeah, I've never <laughs> done that. Before, <laughs> yeah. I've seen this. I was like, man, this out. <laughs> so I'm gonna have some, some large party. Man. I, made, right. I, did, I was like, I won't make those those five by five hallway like hallways that like Alvin does. Yeah, yeah. I I'll make this. Uh, You're in TOA. Yeah. How I did made you all like fit inside one five for square for like, moving. Yeah, around. yeah. I did that in TOA as well. Yeah, it makes so much more sense on the map. Uh, for the exploration, yeah, totally. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, the Moonstone, you make it. Yeah, what's up? There and um, sustain the aura. aura. Okay, cool. Brom, oh, it's so big now. It's gonna be the entire fucking map. Okay, um, can I be leaving like breadcrumbs, just like shit behind me <laughs> <laughs> as I go? Uh, if only you you'd find the secret of the sand. You're like fucking yeah, posterity it's... survival. You can memorize this fucking maze, right? Well, no, that's not for me. It's for you guys. Hey, I have pretty good survival. I'll have you know, I have pretty good survival. Because my problem is, I, I noticed that I'm changing. Uh, <laughs> a certain purple aura is moving away from me, not closer to me. <laughs> yeah, I want to explore the other direction. Okay. We'll have... We're following right. back. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. All right. <laughs> Again, I now do have difficult terrain again, so it's only through that one turn that I didn't have it. So it's, mm. and I'm back to 60 feet movement, so it's 30. So, actually, yeah, I'll go 20 feet to there, okay. Oh, I can see on the map. I like the idea that I can roughly know where you are, it's like the sun doing steps of like a huge creature like pushing it away from a stone hallway. Is that Brolog? Is that Leo? 30? Yeah, do I, I mean, I play here, so I mean, mm, yeah, Chris, yeah, yeah, you're do I have an idea yeah. now that the way connects? Like, does it sound yeah, like Yeah, yeah, you can hear Bromok. Uh, so yeah, I get direction. to hear, as my second stride, and I say, I found him! Yeah, so Bromok from oh, here, no, yeah, you can kind of, you kind of see it, but it's like, the, it's a two-dimensional map, so you see it more clearly than you kind of do, because it's like, it's a 45 degree angle of stairs going down, yeah, yeah. into like a space down there, and in addition to that, in addition to the oh, stairs, no. at the bottom, there is, like, I, I don't know, I tried to do this with dynamic lighting, but there's no real way to represent this. So I'm just, I'm just going to do a squiggly line Ooh, I love this. Um, that represents, like, there's kind of a shimmering sort of barrier there that is Jump sort of, into it. you don't know, you don't know without sort of recalling knowledge or anything the exact nature of, but it's like clearly visible and it's causing like massive sort of like rippling distortion and it makes the space beyond appear very dark and like ba it basically distorts everything to the point where it's uh, it's it's even though you can see its location, it's hidden from you, um, from where you're standing. So it'd be like a DC. From here, it would be like a DC twenty. Oh, it's so good. Uh, sorry, no, DC, DC DC ten flat check to target, and not Why? DC twenty. That would be Why? absurd. Right, right, right. Okay. Or is it DC eleven on hidden? I can't remember. I mean, DC eleven. Gotcha. Yeah. DC 11. I mean. DC 11. Hmm. Out of interest, what direction did Bromok shout from? Uh, you heard his voice echoing from. Ba you couldn't really tell. Just it came from like this this north. chamber. Yeah, somewhere, north. somewhere like this north direction. I'm definitely a little scared of running there. Although technically, I've already done two movements, and I've only done ten feet in my second movement when I got to here. I just wanted to see where the corner was. So I guess. Fuck it! Fuck it! Die, right? Yeah! And I guess once I actually get to here, I no longer have difficult terrain. So that's, okay, so it's 10... It's 20... And then how much do I have left now that I'm not in difficult terrain? Uh... <laughs> like, how many squares so Yeah, you've used us 20 feet of movement, right? So, so yeah, so that's the equivalent of 40 feet of my movement. Yeah, I have yeah, 20 so left. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. Okay. So go to there... Uh, okay. Typically in range, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, for sure. Yeah. So as you uh, as you step into the room, okay. um, immediately, like you pass through the shimmering shimmering barrier, and yep. it is very dark in here. But it is no longer like as distorted as it was. So everything else in the room is kind of concealed from you by like not by like actual darkness, but by like the sort of oppressive presence of the of, of like death on the plane or whatever yeah, yeah. you want to make up about it. Um and What's your uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think now to me what this looks like on the phone. 
What are we paying you for? Uh, um, <laughs> and sort of let me see, movie. Moonsong. How does your traveler's aura work? Specifically, how do auras work? Travelers. <laughs> how do how do auras work? How do magnets work? Dude, this shit, don't get me started. Can you just link it for aura. us? Just drop it. Well, uh, okay. Divine, divine, I guess. Divine, I guess. Oh, I'm so. No, no, no. The, 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 one, the, the, one, the one from the being. The one you uh... gave you. What? This. this yeah, 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 that one. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, 20, 20 foot. 20 foot aura. Okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, you yeah, never that's... flat footed to creatures within 20 feet of you? What the fuck? <clears throat> that's nice. Yeah, that's a, it's, a, it's a nifty feature. Um. Yeah, give us. Yeah, actually, keep keep that one on for now. No, we don't always need anything wrong, but here it's gonna here it's gonna matter. And yeah, Bromok, you are uh, exposed to the uh, to to the hostile effects of a plane. It might be said. Uh, make a fortitude save. Uh, easy. Oh, good, 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 good. We have we have, we have all kinds thing. of shitty bonuses right with those. We have the same hero points as last. Yeah, you're yeah, crazy, it's crazy. It's crazy oh, shit, we were meant to be ready to level up later on, but that's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, hey, you should have forgotten that. <laughs> Wait, but we had Asik. Asik gave but us... the juggernaut thing, thing, yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. yeah. Which, oh, oh it, it makes it so that if it's a success, it's a critical success, yeah. basically, yeah. right? And you get item Yeah, bonus. so I think I will use one of my hero points, because that, I'm guessing, is too see low. the one, Loka. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to get to my hero points. Also, again, yeah, hero points are the same as they were last session. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't use any last whatever. session, luckily. Yeah, cool. So there you go. I, use I still have my two. I'm just waiting for the character sheet to actually react to anything I'm doing. <laughs> nice. That's, that's for fun. some reason, like, the text fields literally take forever to load. Uh, that's fine. Alrighty. And here is the reroll, please. There hey, we go. That's way better. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you, you feel, um... Yeah, you maybe feel a bit of negativity, negative negative vibes, um, but you you <laughs> overcome off, you yeah. overcome the vibes successfully. Nice. I see your negative vibes, and I say no. No, no. Only good for positive vibes in my place. Exactly. Uh. Um. Oh wait, I just <laughs> fuck. What I've gotten here in one action, uh, I totally forgot about this. Oh, it's it's normal. Normal. As no, well, so wait. much. As... Well, it's, come on, man. This is. <laughs> man, that would have been. Yeah. yeah. That would have been cool. Oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. I'm just wondering, like, technically, no, I wouldn't have been able to get here in one movement anyway uh, so it doesn't so. change anything because yeah you're still gonna get one attack right That's yeah fun. well two because of quickened oh yeah but yes yeah, yeah. So, yeah so i'll still do those okay uh so here's the first one Ooh. Mm -hmm. 46 uh, opening with a strong hit mm -hmm. hey and then a quick end, which is probably not going to go well. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh. Ooh, 45? Wow. Just Whoa, Blomok, yeah. you're so in out there. Let's, let's head go. back. Yeah, let's head back. Like, yeah, let's go. go. Oh, so After, really like, nice, missing him, man. what, eight and times all the, last all session? The fucking, all yeah, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's some solid damage rolls as well on a 3d12. Yeah, this is so like convenient it. as well because it's resistance to the physical. Wait, these are ghost touch, right? So, ghost touch, ghost touch. Oh, yeah, yeah, so there's a ghost touch. Yeah, physical yeah. Cool. damage. Yeah. Okay. So man, you just yeah, huge damage. Let's go. So what's that like? Uh, a lot. I'll take it. Bring it down that one. And wow, no, yeah, actually, you just you just run up and kill it. Oh, what we did all this running for nothing, <laughs> all this squeezing. <laughs> Drummonk just walks up. Oh my god, we got ghost sprint. touch, positive, good weapon, and just like slashes it. Yeah, I mean, it's like you're you're the weapon you're wielding is so perfectly an athletic yeah, 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 thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like it burns through it like a lightsaber, and yeah, it's like it's you see it like in its sanctum, recharging its health, and before it can even like react to your presence, you just like. Step through and with two swift two-handed slashes, um, yeah, just like end the yeah, 
Uh, and everyone, wherever you are, um, immediately feel the sort of breakdown of the uh, reality around you. Uh, it's a slightly strange experience. What's um, happening? That, that uh, yeah, the, the sort of the weirder parts of which, you know, leave you kind of like a sort of fading dream as you find yourselves um, back in, um, yeah, in the sewers underneath Hut Hill in God's Hold, um, where... Uh, yeah, things are generally. Uh... What uh, the? Uh, what is that? Wait, wait, wait. Who are you? What happened? I can't look. Come on, what happened? Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have a map to bring you. So I don't oh, really okay. have a world map. Let's go back to the world map. Wait, there's no looter, come on. What? <laughs> she really had to do the wing for you, loot. <laughs> oh, what a shame! It's all dream, like the end of um. Uh, what is uh, this? What? Super Mario Brothers 2? Oh, the Zelda one where you go. Man, tell that when you have the perfect weapon to fight things, huh? things become a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> True. Link's away. It's like Link's Awakening. That's what it is. Yeah. It's just all, uh, just all um, giant fish. I, what happened? Yeah. I was able to well, run it's, through. It, yeah, it's. um. Yeah, like the, the, the details of the combat are still fresh. It was only the sort of like weirder aspects of reality yeah, yeah, yeah. dissolving around you that are. I mean, like, what happened at the end? Like, oh, is this, did you. Yeah, I Dead? went around a corner and I saw it up above on the stairs. I ran up and two quick strikes and it wow, good shit! Clearly, <laughs> <Okay, laughs> oh, discussing us, discussing us before yeah. everyone. Um, yeah, like everyone who kind of was doing the ritual is, is here present as well. Yeah, he's already gone for like uh, fucking thirty seconds, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're only, you're only got yeah. Like I mean, call, I mean, you took a bit of time preparing and stuff around the bell before you had a ring. Yeah, yeah, call yeah. it, you know, calling it just over a minute or so, probably is really <laughs> as long as it took. Um, Moonsong, uh, sorry, not Moonsong. <laughs> Greybird, Greybird kind of um, <laughs> looks you, looks the group of you over. I mean, so yeah, some of you looking at a bit like Claudia's, especially a little. Uh, yeah. But no one's, no one's below half, right? Yeah, yeah no, no, everyone was completely It kind of looks you, looks you over and, and kind of frowns almost. Uh, it really, it was, it was that simple? It wasn't I, I mean, easy, I wouldn't it was call it simple. simple but again, I mean, with the, the right preparations did make this a significantly easier fight. Had we gone in unprepared, I think this thing would have destroyed us. Yeah, I really didn't like the swords. Like, none of us, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she she kind of she like she nods. She she like she um you can see she seems like like slightly troubled by something. Um, like, maybe I can't take them one on one anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Greybird is really Greybird, the Greybird, Greybird, Greybird like level twelve or whatever she is. She's like, like, wait, why did you level so no, high? No, 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 that's, <laughs> that's just what she, the persona she puts on. Yeah, She's yeah, actually yeah, of course, of course, what is yeah, the um, great demon lord? Yeah, exactly. She's um, she now for a bit. What did I miss? She's like, wow, you guys are cool. We're like, yeah. Kinda not, um, yeah. Um, but she, I mean, she she has some questions for you. Um, she asks kind of like about the manifestation, about what you saw, about what the the realm was like. Um, you know, uh, like, you know, was it kind of exactly as as described in terms of you know what did you was it definitely the thing that you expected to fight and so on. Um, you guys obviously went in like knowing all about disability, so yeah, it was it was exactly sort of as you had suspected yeah. it. Would be. I, I do I do specify like the one kind of really strange thing when I went through kind of that veiled area and did the killing blows. Um, it was like that feeling, right, of like being almost lost, like uh, that. I just was able to overcome it, but like yeah. being pulled into like another plane of existence, almost uh, like I'm torn. Okay, yeah, uh, she she's you know she. Promises to speculate on that later, but you know, good good data, good data. I took uh, God's going in there by yourself, bro. Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm just glad I finally fucking hit her. How's it, how's it feel though? If, I mean, it's quite different. I've never seen you, you know, wield a sword, really, and all that. Well, we know, maybe once or twice, but not normally for a whole fight. Yeah, really the like only it. other time I think with this party was, well, when you were dead. Oh, I was sure I missed that. I gotta say, uh, it feels pretty good though. Right? Really I really get it. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I, if given a choice in a in a battle situation, I'd I'd prefer the bow. Oh yeah, I guess you know it takes. A but sword. for this particular fight, this made a like I'm just like, you know, pointing or like holding the sword. I'm like this was far better. Oh yeah. 
but uh, but it does seem bullshit that I can't put these runes on my bow. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is kind of annoying. Well, speaking of that, yeah, we better like take these fucking ghost killer ones off. I'm like, where'd I put my other boots? <laughs> <laughs> where'd where those, where those ones go to? Uh, shit, right, so I guess we... Does she still seem troubled, or is it more of like disbelief at this point? Um, just destroyed this. No, no, the troubled, no, the troubled moment passes um, swiftly. But she, yeah, I mean, she asks a few questions about it, and then yeah, like kind of seems to be slightly. She's like, she's slightly taken aback that the the matter is so. Easy. You know, yeah, I think yeah. She, I, I guess, in a, in a way, she more expected you guys to sort of come back. I don't know, wounded, souls drained away, in in need of desperate, you know, medical care, or I think like you know. So um, you yeah, you guys just kind of like. You well, know, you some breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which yeah, she just seems like to take you know, yeah, to take her back, but uh, she gets over it pretty quickly. Uh, she knows she's known you about most anyway. Um, and yeah, otherwise, you guys return to business. Um, mm-hmm. What music should I have? The real problem is, I don't remember what the other wounds I had on my weapon before were. Okay. But I'll, if I just go back far enough to the well, I was actually wondering that. about that, because technically, I'm wondering, at least for me, if the sword is also going to be a really good option when we do face yeah, I mean, it. I would just keep the fucking sword, like, why not, right? Like, Yeah. For, in case we do fight any other undead or spirity things. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, have? I probably won't change up my sword at all. I used to have cold and acid. Okay, cool. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, uh, you put acid on fire your sword? Acid. acid. <laughs> but I can't. Oh, actually, I don't know if they were greater cold or greater acid. They were not. I think one might have been. I think it was a greater sure? frost and then the acid was normal. No, I'm not sure at all. I mean, because we, we definitely have never found one of them. So you would have had to do that. Oh, no. Oh, my. No, no. I yeah, you have. Yeah, you get it, you lucky boy. No, no, I can see now. Actually, it still had the old name. It is just normal frost coast. It's cool. cool. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it kind of was like leave it with like fucking. What was it that? Was it a uh, Zoms who like put him on? Zoms on a squad. Yeah, was it? It was like kind of him who like made us all the weapons, right? Or like transferred all the wounds over. Well, yeah, yeah. I'll go for. I'll go for and be like, great fucking work, Zoms. Yeah, really let's really get, get that them. back open. Hey, yeah, yeah, really. We only did what I was hoping for, but uh, I think I'll get on back to the old, uh, you know, acid. Whatever it was. Of course, yeah, yeah, if you don't mind, of course, yeah. Uh, our, our incoming enemies are unfortunately more solid. Right. Frustrating. Well, until we're done with them. <laughs> oh, out of curiosity, Chris, how many rounds of healing did that thing get before? Oh, it's only one. Only one. It moved, it, like, nice. sp- moved at the end of the last session and then healed like one round and then... Yeah. But- Fast boys for the win. Right, but what is breakfast? You know, how good is the food quality? Here? I can't remember. Plenty of food, though. Right? That's I mean, with all the people here, yeah. it's probably pretty. Plenty good. of food is all I care about. The food quality. Yeah, yeah the pretty, pretty well provisioned. Pretty well provisioned. Cleveland nice. and, and that whole branch uh, do a reasonably. Oh, good but you can say whole bunch. No, it'll be like nice. Yeah, between them. Um, yeah, so this is about you got about two weeks left um, until uh, everything kicks off. Just to remind everyone, so basically the way this is going to work is uh, un- until uh, your downtime, two weeks of downtime until you are assaulting uh, the God's yeah. Hold Keep. Um, and uh, yeah, that will sort of kick off this Grand Rebellion. From there, you guys will have been given the objectives of ca- of uh, not capturing, rather specifically not capturing, but uh, demilitarizing um, Swiftwater and Fort Roshan, while the resistance nice moves to capture do. more, uh, yeah, capture and hold more targets with their like more abundant forces. Um, so a significant part of the. Um, uh, yeah, the, pl- the planning over the next two weeks goes into um, yeah, exactly. You know exactly how you guys are going to achieve that, and um, what objectives are going to be, you know, most most essential, and so on. Um, um, yeah, I, I try to get our like actual objectives, where we need to be, when we need to be there, to like have, have them written down. So we have yeah, them. yeah. So that's so that's yeah. We're gonna so basically, we there's two kind of. You've got two different sort of things here. One is the one is the town, and one is the fort. 
Uh, just in terms of gameplay, the fort is going to be handled when you get there in a more kind of like what we've done in the past. I'll have like a series, a, sequ a sequence of kind of like set piece encounters. Well, it won't necessarily happen in like a strict order, but I'll have like set piece encounters for like you know the major sort of uh, like yeah, maybe three or four of like yeah the big the, you know the the, the the parts of it that actually give you difficulty. Um, but for the town. Uh, we have a more a more interesting proposal um, that we'll get to in a second. Um, or not proposal, but <clears throat> Is that uh, yeah, proposal more interesting. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the first the first question you guys are faced with in your kind of consideration of Swiftwater is how to. Uh, and by you guys, I mean like the re the resistance as a whole. There's like a lot of tactical yeah. planning going on. Yeah. So how to how to deal with the bridge? Um, the bridge oh, is. Yeah. It's very strong. It's made of stone. Um, it is about a thousand and change feet long, um, and almost like it's about seventy-five feet wide. They like people boast it's like a hundred feet wide. It's not really. It's about three quarters of that. It's, it's seventy-five feet wide, but it has two towers, um, like like strong support towers, um, like spaced about sort of almost at a, about five hundred feet apart. You know, kind of distant into the bridge. Um, that like are like you know probably a hundred. Basically, it's a big motherfucker. Um, yeah. It's a really big thing. There is not a practical way if you guys are taking the town alone, uh, or not alone, but just a group of you, um, or even with like small numbers of reinforcements, that you can carry enough. Um, no matter how powerful Asic makes it with the with the philosopher's extractor. Uh, enough explosives to to damage this thing. Um, mm. so, the, so the proposal is that um, what you will need to do is take uh, specific um, uh, to specific explosives that will you will apply to like specific weak points in the bridge, and then a larger payload will be delivered by by zombs by river. Um, at a point that you guys can determine um, during your like during your assault, you guys will tactically plan when you want that to happen, um, and then yeah, I mean basically okay. Well, let me bring you to this map, and we can talk about exactly how this is going to. This, this is good water. So well, you're assuming we're going to win a gold flow because. Um, yeah, well, no, I'm not assuming. Well, the, yeah, the resistance is assuming you're going to win gold. they're planning. They're planning ahead of that. <laughs> what do you mean? You made the map, though. You're planning ahead. You made the guy. <laughs> well, they, they made this map. <laughs> this wasn't anything to do with me. Uh, can you see anything, or is this all just black for you? It's black. It's just black for you, right? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. So let me tell oh, you man. about a nice rules. little lo-fi map. I like it. Yeah. Well, what do you make this in? Uh, like some cake. program. It's that city program. Uh, some, thing, some, right? Yeah, city, city map, and that's a different thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let me cool. let me paste these from my notepad file into the um, end of Armageddon chat. Did you have that? Uh, Probably what forgot does, things. What does free mean? Oh, are you using like the? Uh... Yeah. So I'll talk. I'll talk you through. So the way that the assault on Swiftwater will work, there's there are going to be eight rounds. That will represent the time that you have available to attack oh. before you need to move on to your next objective, which is Fort Roshan, which is approximately eight hours. This is all assuming that, based on the distances on the world map, you guys are going to use a teleport spell to get approximately near Swiftwater, because yeah. it's, it's a bit over 100 miles away. Get there in the same day, do that, and then kind of like sort of rin rinse and repeat using a second teleport spell. Um, like the exact like whether that takes one or two days is going to be it's like it's down it's down to the planning, but it needs to kind of happen like pretty you know pretty sequentially. It's not like a lot of time for fucking about. Okay. Um, so you guys have like a limited window to attack this time. In that time, you guys need to accomplish as many of the objectives, uh, the resistance objectives as possible. Um, you guys will be each character will is independent moving around this map and may begin at any location representing the fact that like it's a town of you know however many thousands of people you guys can literally just you know they, even no matter how defensive they are they, you, they can't really stop even just like walking in and like you know starting wherever the wherever yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not a walled city so you guys will begin this mini game at any location you want and each round you can attempt a check against a remaining objective at the location that you're in or move to a new location in Swiftwater. Yeah. Uh, an what is an Aeron DC forty one? So what yeah, that? that's so. Aeron so religion. Yeah, yeah. So any oh. so that's oh, the second okay. two points from now. Any any at any location which has defenders to be neutralized, that has to be done before anything else can be done. That's yeah. a side rule. 
The Aeron checks are a kind of original cosmic nature can be done by anyone with a spellcastering tradition. They're using specifically that check and specify that here. But yeah, like if you have an arcane tradition, you can use Arcana. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and if you sacrifice a leveled spell slot, you can reduce the DC of that check. And we don't need to worry about what the extra spell was. It's all just kind of narratively, like and you know, using yeah, yeah. magic to like free the prisoners somehow, or like weaken the structure of the bridge, or or, or whatever. You know, this kind of ubiquitous. There are quite a lot of uses for them. Um, it's, once an objective has been advanced by a skill, subsequent skill checks on the same objective, if it's one of the ones that needs multiple uh, successes to, to pass it, that's the number, the bolded number at the start of each yeah, objective. Yeah. Um, so if you're using the same skill over and over, it gets harder following a, like a progression that's, that's there in the notes. Um, there are many rules specific to individual objectives. Um, once the bridge has been prepared for destruction, someone has to be present every round until whichever round that you guys specify, Zoms will arrive with the main payload to destroy the So basically, you need to estimate when it's going to be ready to be destroyed by, but maybe give yourselves like a little bit of leeway, but not too long because that's tying a character down, keeping it you know ready for the for whatever round Zoms arrives on um, while it's happening. Um, additionally, if you free prisoners from the keep, which is one of the things you can do there, yeah. um, they will be. You can use them to loot the arms depot, which saves you having oh, to, arms which depot. saves you having to destroy the equipment there using checks, um, which makes it free. You know, free rather than needing successes on checks. But you do need someone to defend the prisoners while they arm themselves. After which, they yeah, are sure, capable yeah. of like defending themselves as they escape swift water and we, and we forget about them so there's like so, you know, there's little, little synergies there if you do like the keep before the arms depot and so on so the numbers the number in board is the amount of rounds to complete that objective uh the number yeah the number of yeah the number of number of successes required but multiple people so like if if four when people you say successes required if it's only like neutralized defenders that doesn't have a skill check it just automatically success if you're there if yeah, that's a, yeah. If it's free, that's an, it's an automatic okay, success. Cool. So it's just yeah. So if it's like one neutralize the defenders, that means one person needs to spend one round just you know defeating the dawn that are there basically. I mean, but but um, we'd actually need multiple, people, right? Well, we would need. But if we, is this more account for three people? So you would have three people. Oh, so that so so that one specifically, yeah, that's a sp another special case. Uh, this one, if when when we get there, will be. Rather than doing a skill check, we'll do like we'll go into an encounter and do an actual encounter. It'll be done with whichever okay. characters are. So yeah. yeah. So basically, yeah. Say say for example, three characters are you know at the keep. Two characters use their first action. You know, two characters neutralize defenders with their action, and then one character goes and you know releases the prisoners. Yeah. Then the next round, you decide right. Do those? So two of those characters go and you know fight the command structure while one starts destroying the documents or do all three of them spend this turn oh, fighting okay. the command structure so it's kind of up to you guys i did the maths on this encounter it's a moderate encounter for three which equates to a basically for two i mean it, it, numbers get weird scaling with small yeah, character yeah, yeah. numbers for two people would be a severe encounter 120 yeah. but one person would be Ooh. beyond extreme would be a 240 experience encounter if everyone wants to try it i mean Tell me. go for it <laughs> like and then past three people is kind of increasingly trivial like yeah. 60 something experience, yeah, 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 experience. Sure, if, sure. if all five of you are there but i can't imagine it's sufficient for all five of you to be there okay. so yeah it's, it's kind of for you guys to plan out what the sort of most efficient you know who wants to start and travel time time it's start English, where. Right? you can go it's, it's just it's, yeah one action yeah, yeah. to one action anywhere to anywhere in town mm. just representing it's an action like, to move though it is an action yeah move. it is an action to move oh, yeah okay, so okay. on any on any turn yeah so you, you can either move or you can attempt to overcome the Something that's at the place where you're at. So moving but, is non-trivial. You can't just I, you start at what any of them. You said yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can start wherever you, at any at any place, and it's not like okay. the arm step and iron works is the same as yeah. And then every character can start at different places. You guys can all be, you can all start at the keep together, or you can you know start two of you at the bridge and three of you at the keep, or, or however you you know want to sort of space. Okay, it out. Well, that's pretty cool. What and happens when Zomb arrives too early? Uh, if Zombs arrives too early, then the bridge will, then the bridge won't be prepared for destruction, and it'll probably be heavily damaged depending on like what stage okay. you got it to. But sure, it won't sure, be sure. like sufficiently to destroy to deny, to the, deny it as a military crossing. What's the, the negative of making Zombs just survive as late as possible? Uh, that after you've prepared the bridge for destruction, um, someone needs to consistently camp like at the. Well, someone needs to expend every sure, day, okay. every round yeah, defending yeah, sure. the explosives. So it's not so much him that, like later is bad. It's more that you just need to like. Figure out rough ex ex when you expect the bridge to be like ready, and then kind of time yeah. time that around when Zom's. You can have him come at the very end and just like try and time it out during on the fly during the yeah. thing. But it's all yeah. it's all just tactical. You guys can kind of like you know plot it out and like even like you know if you guys want to use your checks and like and like war game it and just like see like what sort of what the results would be. But yeah, uh, there will be. 
Um, like when in the actual thing, there will be like hidden objectives, positive and negative, like influences that crop up and stuff. Not like a load of them, but just like a handful yeah, yeah, sure, of the sure. thing that'll like throw off any planning. Just you know, just a bit. But yeah, this is this represents kind of like. Um, uh yeah you know Wait, i think so this the hermitage? is hermitage it's, it's the name the, of the sorry the hermitage is the name of the keep yeah it's uh, oh right yeah. right 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 i was like looking for its own little <laughs> yeah sorry no it's like yeah it's, well, it's just oh, the, yeah. like the local name for the, yep, for yep, the, yep. the keep do we need um, the bridge to be able to cross the river like if we start with it uh, maybe, are we able to go no, no you guys can can like come you can run a water now or, baby yeah it's just, uh, yeah, like at this okay. point you guys level 17 you can like run, find use a, a scroll yeah, yeah, of like running on water or like commandeer a boat okay. or like or do something to get across so no the bridge is not essential to you guys as like tactical right, crossing right. it's really just for like military objectives and, and that yeah sense. sure okay and can we figure out what everybody can do yeah I mean, but no, we just yeah, also, so no, so God's hold it. So God's hold is a set. That's also going to be like a set piece of encounters, and I haven't yeah, yeah, actually yeah. finished planning that one out yet. So right. that basically, the end of this session is going to be you guys will level up to seventeen, and then oh, like, okay. we'll, we'll begin this the encounter. Like, and the next session will be the oh. yeah, yeah. So the this, this, this rest of the session is, is like kind of role playing out the last two weeks between war gaming and like whatever else you guys kind of want to discuss yeah. with people and and stuff. Oh yeah, uh, same uh, we'll words. Probably end up, we'll probably end up finishing a bit early today. Um, but, <laughs> but, like yeah, the uh, I got. Like there's quite a lot of. But we have to make this, this like whole discussion. We need to have this whole discussion in character, guys. This whole discussion about these um, in character. Yeah. No mention of skill checks or ability modifiers. Okay. Oh, but yeah, but also, but so outside of character though, um, oh. like this is. I, I mean, I, I, I planned this obviously myself, but like, if you guys have input onto like, oh, I think like this skill should be a Can you usable look at the to do this. Infiltrate point system, Chris. The infiltrate subsystem. Um, the subsystem uh, yeah. to be called infiltration. Funny, funny. I, it's, it's funny. Infiltrate subsystem. No, I did not. That did not inspire this. What inspired this was I watched a video about the um, uh, chasers subsystem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was like, man, I. I Chase isn't perfect, but like, if I can sort of, if I could, well, I, originally I planned like a kind of tree of like, of, so like you guys would all start together and like you'd have to overcome like a point in the chase, and then you would like. Right divert to like you know like one team goes this way one team and they're like dealing with this thing and this thing but eventually i was like man there's no way i i can like account for all the ways you guys would plan out an attack on a town with all like the options that you guys have to like teleport around and like stuff so i thought let's just keep it super nebulous and actually and this is the system that sort of yeah, i've been playing this over the last kind of week or well actually this the final version this kind of came out the last day and like yeah if you if you guys have i think like specifically i think like if there's a skill check you think should be represented yeah, yeah, sure, sure. or if you think like something is like whoa why is the difficulty scale like this because i did kind of make some of these up on the fly yeah um but i, I, want, do like, I do want some things to be difficult and yeah. the other last thing I'll say is specifically if you have like um, knowledge skills that you think would be like really re like would be really relevant like those yeah, I did not consider yeah. at all. Oh, so I'd warfare, be, baby! I'd be like yeah. um, you know I'd be really willing Beagle. to consider like knowledge <laughs> using knowledge skills in like certain um, yeah. But you also I know how to destroy documents really fast. <laughs> <laughs> legal law, that's true. Yeah. But you, were, but you would just say you could use legal law as like a lower DC, right? So you could use that instead of like you know whatever, CV or some shit, you know, if it is Troy Battle documents, yeah. you could be like, uh, that's yeah. an easy DC. Legal law, as long as you're a lawyer for a major political party, destroying oh. documents is something you're really prefer. Exactly. Yeah, there's a paper yeah. shot. So, uh, I, have, I have a thought. Or <laughs> okay, something sure. That, uh, something that should, maybe should be able to be applied in some yeah, way, yeah. which is, for anywhere stealth would give a huge advantage, is a stealth roll to see if we can either decrease the number of checks or the DC of a check because we completely avoided notice. We um, but then you'd have, and then you'd have to... Uh, for specific ones, so right, for ones where there's not a lot, like the ironworks, there's destroyed infrastructure, but there's no one there. If we can completely sneak in and do all of that without it, or, like, get to the stables... Without, could, okay. it could be no, something like you, it could be something like if you do successful stealth, then we can do it without the, neutralizing the defenders first. But you said we had to yeah, neutralize that defenders. Was, so that was what, that's what I thought okay. first, but I'm sure. not sure how much of an advantage that has because neutralized defenders are just yeah, you always do that. Right. Well, right? So right. what I think I'd prefer is, and this would be, I mean, not not everyone has stealth, so but this, would be, a, this right. would be on a per yeah. per character basis, but something where you can use stealth to move around. Far. Like you can, if you on a successful stealth, you can move to a location without have like between locations without having to use an action. 
Okay. Um, but like every every time you do that, the t check to do that again gets harder. So like, like we could yeah. say it starts at the thirty six mark, and then the next one will be thirty eight, and then forty one, and then forty six. So you could only realistically rely on like doing it um, a couple. But times. yeah, so yeah, I'll fold that into the rules. Like stealth, stealth thing to move cool. lets you do it without having to. Does it get uh, harder for that one person or the entire? Uh, one person. It's on a per character person. basis. Yeah. Okay. Um. When moving between paintings, six must be self check. Okay, I need. No. Oh, oh fuck! We haven't got a score. Shit. I like how, now it's me, so we're doing so like, but we have like a big bit of parchment. I guess we're writing all this like shit down, like oh, yeah. what the plan is. I guess like. uh should we make like a spreadsheet on Excel or some shit? Does someone wanna? I mean, it's like a flow chart, I think, right? Yeah, you make it. This sounds like something you might do in you or Josh's job. I can imagine you guys having made some sort of like, project planning or something, right? I definitely don't do that. Uh, I'm, I'm not going this, to right? use my works access to like. Um, I'm sorry, fuck off. Well, I, don't, I, I don't know if you heard the. You we're work doing on it. it works, right? do you, do, I don't know if you heard the solution with the stealth. No, you your headphones. So yeah, yeah, so what we decided is that um, the when you when you're moving, but if you would use an action to move between locations, you can mm -hmm. attempt a stealth check. Um, and if you succeed, it starts at DC thirty six and then scales with each success. Okay, okay. Uh, if you succeed, you can negate the action, can immediately go and attempt an objective on a person uh, basis or on a party on basis. A person basis, yeah. yeah. Okay. So DC like, 26, so let me see what we're dealing with. Leon, maybe we spend a few weeks so the, stealthy, stuff, you know? so the stealthy characters <laughs> over the course of the... Uh, over the course of the... Th I like it, because, I mean, yeah, the stealthy characters over the course of the attack will get, like, two or three more oh, yeah. sort of things done than the non-stealthy party members. I made myself train yourself, you haven't done that, I was like, you know, I've been I doing this a long time. I mean, we've probably been trying to fail stealth things for 16 levels. Remember me succeeding, but I was like, I, I might be trained yeah, in hiding. Yeah, there's been yeah. times you both stealth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm fucking trained in religion, you know? <laughs> yeah, why? Can I use, like, Alex's stuff to modify, like, rolls? Um, yes, but bearing in mind that, like, each thing is kind of taking place over the space of, like, roughly an hour, so it would have sure. to be, like, an elixir with a kind of commensurate sort of yeah, duration yeah. for it Long to an affect someone's check, yeah. So if you said, like, it's, it was, like, I don't know, 20 minutes or half an hour, like, in a specific case, I probably might allow it, I like, like stealth buff. to release the prisoners or something. Oh, yeah, a stealth buff to move between locations, yeah, yeah. that sort of that sort of thing, too. Um, but yeah, like, it, if it was like five minutes or ten minutes, then, then no chance. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. And obviously if it's like four hours, then it lasts for like multiple sort of, you know, Wait, rounds of this. We, we, need, we need some sort of flow charts anyway. Man, what about, um, I mean, what about Myro? Anyone use Myro? Josh made a spreadsheet. Josh knows how to make yeah, spreadsheets. Josh made a spreadsheet. Josh just, just never seen a problem we didn't like a spreadsheet for. It's got the Rizio license. <laughs> I'm working for this all the time, but it's like, it's a really good approach to life. But it's, it's, it's an empty spreadsheet. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> honest. Uh, right, that's because... It's collaborative. <laughs> what? I mean, well, I guess I had a sort of... and stuff. Right, this is. I'm going to be on the decon. Okay, no, cool. actually, the I had thought of another okay. idea. By the way, um, a jam board. Oh my god, a jam! And it's like it would work. Actually, we're getting paid for this. Jam. <laughs> Let's do a two-week sprint, and then next session we'll all have you know our. Plans. What do I want for dinner? Korean fried chicken or a burger? It's very two Korean different options, chicken. but I'm kind of feeling Korean. both. Korean. Korean. Fried chicken, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, so wait, so when you use, you can extend one spell slot if it's an A1 check to make the check easier is what you said, right? Oh yes. spell slot of that tradition, okay. Yeah, and it's, it's so, and by expanding, so when I say I'm expanding spell slots, it's my expectation. So I, I probably should have spelled some of this out more, because I, I, I checked Bromox's character sheet and he has set, teleport as a six level spell and two six level spell slots a day. So sorry, my expectation, the fundamental part of the plan is that Bromox is going to use teleport to get you to Swiftwater and then teleport again to get you onto. We probably uh, aren't taking Claudia with us, are we? I can no. only use teleport once. It's once per day, or? Well, no. So the reason why is I have two six level, but they're independent. One is from Sorcerer, one is from Eldritch Archer. And ah, so there right, are two okay. different spells. W w at 17th level, will that change? Uh, no, not until 18th. So, no. not, right, not until, until I can become an, uh, a master. But, but uh, Moonsong also has got teleport. Moonsong sure. also has teleport. How many times can Moonsong cast it? Probably I mean, more than like a promise. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah so, so basically, yeah. the fundamental is there will be two, like, based on two teleport casts, one to Swiftwater and then one on to Fort Roshan. <laughs> um, 
and that you will be fight like the whole basically for the element of surprise is, is necessary to like kind of get this like take you know you can you know once uh, the god's whole thing is not going to be like it's going to be more of like a sort of Mm-hmm. Uh, story dungeon, than, like you know, it's going to be the full, the whole full might. This is going to be the easiest thing for the resistance to capture and kind of the whole thing. Like everyone's yeah, yeah, going to yeah. be in one place for this. So it's not you're not really going to use resources for that. Um, you're going to capture swift water. You're going to capture and and then go into Fort Roshan basically with whatever resources you have left over from swift water. So if you use okay. spell slots in in this, the when I said when it says expended, you what they're expended do... against is your attack on Fort Roshan, which is will be Fort Roshan like going to be the same sort of system. No, it's gonna, that's going to be like combat set pieces. Oh, okay, but we'll have used up our ability. So yeah, but you will have used some spell slots. Yeah, exactly. So you will have fewer spell slots left, and it won't be like a. It'll be like a, you know combat set pieces that are doable like sequentially for a party of yeah, yeah, of this level. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like they will be harder if you've used. So what is what what is mandatory use? Two teleports? Is that what are we going with? Yeah, basically. Yeah, my plan. Yeah, my my. What I've suggested that this is a plan for you is, is based around, for the story, is based around you guys using two teleports. What do we do with Claudia? We can't fit everyone right with uh, two teleports. We want teleport. I mean, to a place. Yeah, I mean, if she has a stay, she has a stay. Um, uh, um, uh, oh, right, because we're a five person party, right? Oh, I don't know. We're a six person uh, party. Six. Uh, we're six, six with Claudia, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for teleport targets, five. Yeah. I. I, 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 I I mean, I think kind of rules she can be in the bag of holding to do it. I think by the yeah, so it's, uh, yeah. Actually, they, they, the, the the resistance has some a, a, a pet teleportation necklace or something. That's a teleport with you. I don't nice. know. Like, that's, oh, she, that's your country joke. She's already she's already got a collar, so it's it's something else like a tiara or something. I don't know. Whatever you want. Give decide somewhere she doesn't already have. It's a lead that clips onto a collar, and when you hold it, when you teleport, she comes with. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, leash of pet teleportation. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Add that, Jacko. But um, let me wear a collar. Let me come on, Jacko. Free, free dimensional. Yeah, but honestly, I'm honestly surprised that they didn't have just given how like Pathfinder Two E addresses things. They don't have like a note in a teleportation spell saying like you know we kind of assume like a, a typical party of four players. But if your party is having difficulty teleporting them and their pets, you know because because you're yeah, a group of six fair. or whatever, you know like I mean obviously we just do whatever. I just we fix it ourselves right here. But like given how Pathfinder Two is written, it's kind yeah, of surprising yeah, yeah. to me they didn't have something like that. It's the sort of thing they tend to cover. Yeah, it's true. Because you know like what if you are a group of six and they're just like man oh, the rules are like, the game's just fucking harder if there's more of you. <laughs> this, yeah, is, yeah. this is really how they balance it. The encounters are supposed to stay the same, but man you can't teleport. So easily oh dude this is so fun. okay and then so we want so round okay who wants to start okay well i more i reckon i kind of you know sort my chest on the table i mean to be honest the main thing i'm really interested in is you know this thing here and i kind of put my finger over the keep i mean right. you know i'm taking a the fucking head his head on joe whoever the f- oh, i can't remember his name i got it somewhere <laughs> that guy deserves to fucking you know see what's coming in i better be one of the guys that to do it well, <laughs> i was like also mean we can free the prisoners yeah, free the prisoners. Yeah, sure, that's good. No, I mean, no, that's really good. That's really good. It's a place to be. It's a place yeah, to Secondary to Beck. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, uh, when, I, when I planned this whole system out and like, invented all this, I was like, man, what, what are the chances that Beck is not one of the one plus? That, that, that's <laughs> kind of that, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing mean the only one because I can get them on my side. Sure. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, maybe a co watch can go there and like, one of us can go and destroy the dog wounds while I like, you know, find the dude. That would make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Well, okay, yeah, I think uh, we have to... I, I would suggest sending three there. Three? I mean... There's a lot of no, people, right? Trust me. Our, our intelligence isn't going to be completely up to date to the point where we know exactly what's there. Oh, she suspects so, she suspects so much. She thinks yeah, I mean, you can go bait, you know, bait two PCs into the severe encounter. Well, like, you know? One hundred percent, you would. Imagine it's like because <laughs> cost out of a model to face with. To be fair, yeah. to be to be fair, like I mean, I know a lot of this is a lot of this down. goes play well. A lot of this down as well to like you know, I've given you guys some like static power yeah. buffs that wouldn't be available like a normal party. But like you guys chew through severe encounters pretty yeah, pretty, I'm like, pretty just, easily. Okay. Like, Oh, okay. well, you know, let's just figure out how much time we have. But I think two of us could do it if we needed to. If time was a push. Yeah. So here, here, here's why I was thinking that, right? So you'd have neutralized defenders is yeah, two actions. That. The third yeah. person would do release. Oh, the so three people, <laughs> there's <laughs> three. That's one round. We've done those two things. Oh, then yeah. all of them go to the decapitate the dawn command structure. 
yeah, finish but... that off. Two can then, or one can stay to destroy vital documents while the other two move on to the next place. After we've decapitated the Dawn's command structure. Whatever that ends up being. Uh, maybe, uh, all right, maybe, maybe. As long as I'm there, I don't care too much, as long as there's plenty of the yeah. entrance to go around. That makes sense. Um... But look, yeah, yeah, right. that, but then, like, technically, that's expected to be like to you're, not, you're, not, you're not expected to like bump into anyone on like the strength. That it's more like there's going to be a room full of like senior officers or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, right. want to access that room. Do we need to do the things in order? Like, no, uh, we, we, we need like, to neutralize do defenders, defenders first. Oh, only, defenders neutralize first. defenders is the only one you specifically need to do before you can do okay. the other things at that location. All right, all right, but then like, so if like three of us head there, all right, I mean. It's just, you know, I'm just trying to be right. I mean, who would that be? Like, I'd uh, me. And then, like, we need somebody who what, knows how to destroy some records, you know, ruin their intelligence. Who knows how to do that? What is that? CV crafting. Know, it but, uh, it's been a while. I'm not sure if... Yeah, um, I mean... You know, I'm, I'm not, I can't do that. Yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll find as you look through, there's a lot of, like, thievery and crafting, a lot of a workout. Like, yeah. it's pretty much... Like, so if you guys have if you guys have suggestions, I'm open to suggestions for other skills, but Let I think... Let me I actually... Like, you know, a lot of them are just quite, you know. You could argue... No, I mean, you I mean, it's to be above to Leon. You could argue diplomacy for vital documents, kind of, but it's kind of mm. difficult. Can you? You're going to yeah, talk to him? Like, no, but I mean, it's like a whole legal system, right, to set up. I mean, you was, I mean a diplomat is the guy who writes a lot of the documents, right? And the difficult is to diplomat. identify them, not destroy them, right? Like, destroy yeah, 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 yeah. Them. But that's what I mean. Like, would a diplomat be good at it? Yeah, be good at could be society, sure. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, maybe society would make more sense. But I mean, I, I'm yeah. actually thinking that I mean, society think, might work for some of the. I mean, how does crafting make any sense for destroying vital documents and records? Like to me, society or which is the keep the society or the diplomacy make more sense to me than that. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go with society then. Let's add society on the list to. Um, yeah, I like society. I add a DC thirty four. Put it down there with thievery at like the slightly yeah, easier DC. My level mm -hmm. 17 skill thing, because that might actually change like what I do now, knowing that maybe I do need to put something into yeah. thievery. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you guys spe specifically have like again also yeah, like a couple of weeks kind of. to like swap your skills up and stuff if um if you guys want to hit any of them. I mean, uh, I honestly like let's think the mo. I would say like let's figure out who's the best at which stat, but honestly, Beck can do kind of yeah, you can't do shit right. Like Asic should mm -hmm. basically be the one doing like all like Asic should be at the bridge of crafting. That's one thing right. You should like, yep. but no, you want to stay for one place for longer possible, which is the advantage of having like two people win the keep fight. But then we don't need to do some actions moving around, but two people just stay there and keep doing actions. Like right. more That's why I'm, I'm actually thinking for me is I can go there because I, I, I'm pretty sure I can get up to like a plus 25-ish on my thievery hmm. after the level up. 50, 50. So I go and I help you fight the, the battles at the Hermitage and then I can try to stealth to the Ironworks or the stables or somewhere else yeah, to sense. move for free and almost immediately get there. That way I'm there because I'm I'm pretty useful depending on the situation, like the type of fight there, but I can still do some of these other ones. Yeah, okay. Where ASIC, we need something that like I'm where it's in combat. Really... I can just well, like I mean, chill on the bridge on my own. Like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't even think that's necessarily worth like that. I guess it's efficient to me fight. Yeah. yeah. And like, but I think, like, again, it's more stuff, of like, there. There are free. some where it's like crafting is super low DC, and you have a very good crafting. And yeah, some you should be. Other doing DCs are really difficult. What's your stealth, Asic? Twenty-four. I should get like one or two free moves. Um, I think. What is a DC? Sorry, to do it. Uh, it goes yes. up. Oh, is that thirty-four or thirty-one? Thirty-four. Sure. So it's, you're kind of lucky to do it actually. Right? Yeah, plus twenty-four. I'm looking at the elixir. So I'm sorry, something. Oh, well. okay. Yeah, that's true. Just like some way to do it. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I think honestly, you need to be like running the fuck around. Like, uh, I mean, you, you can. We, we need to. Somebody need else to... can start with, start think... with the easy like crafting check, and then I come for the harder one, right? I mean, can anyone do any crafting? I don't know. I think, I I think no once the bridge mean, is is ready right for destruction, I, I think I could maybe be like, the one defending it. Since, um, I don't know, but we should try to make it so we don't redefend for any round, right? Like, or it's just like one or two rounds. Since well, we, I, um, that's gonna end up being, I'm guessing, one of the curveballs is on the bridge. So don't plan for one. Hey, round I'm not planning for curveballs, but we can't plan for curveballs. We don't know. I would, I would, I would have to plan for curveballs. Nah, yeah. um, nah. Zong's gonna write right at the last second. So um, 
Yeah, so yeah, I would just given that I, we killed, dealt with that encounter pretty quickly, this is quite a lot of time left in the session. Um, like you, if you guys, if it's useful to level up now to plan these things, probably go ahead and do that. Oh, like, okay. yeah. so, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I actually, no. funnily enough, I did the maths based on that encounter and the AC for the major quest objective when you got here, and the, the <laughs> what, what you handed him from all those weapons based on my previous ruling on and maths on how that worked. And funnily enough, you ended up getting exactly one thousand experience. Wow, that's what experience we have now. They're spot on, is what it was. Oh, it's out. Well, it'd be 1494. Mm, what? Wait, how, many, how many do we need for level? We're on 1394 right now, so we yeah. need to get to, so we need 306 to level. Oh, sorry, so 2394, duh. For 1000 minus 706. So, no, 1000 minus 306, mm -hmm. right? 306, yeah, that's what I said, right? Yeah, yeah. So, 694. Yeah, the 694 of the way, a good chunk of the way. Man, that's, let's go hunt more that's weapons nice. down, guys. Alright, level 17. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, I think... Is it, oh, well, one thing's interesting. There's no benefit for crit successes or crit failures. Huh? That's not accounted for in the in the school check. Uh, I don't, okay, I don't okay. Count interesting. Anyway. Are they hero pointable? Yeah, I think so. It's it's, okay. it's outside of the standard definition of like what modes of play exist. So I think yes, let's just rule on the side of saying. Sure, sure, sure. So I'm gonna take that uh, level seventeen human and source of feed. By the way, he you don't sure want it. Heroic presence. Oh, we can take yeah, we'll both. Or wait, we'll both we'll take one? it. The heroic what is presence. It? Heroic presence. What is this? Sorry, what is it's it though? Like, it's like you gain the effect of like this spell called like inspire because like if you like uh, zealous conviction. Is it? It's a skill feat. Ancestry feat. The human. Ancestry. Why are you getting an ancestry feat? At level 17, you get an ancestry feat. True. What? Right. You, you don't? You do? Oh, you I was must. looking at the wrong one. Nah, Masterful yeah, Hunter, Skill Indeed. Increase, and Ancestry Dude, feat. Armor Mastery, I'm slightly more uh, tanky, let's go! Let's hey, go. what does fucking Masterful Hunter give me again? Ooh, you, it, it's like your Agile decrease is even lower now, I think. Like, the flow is even lower, like, the negatives for multiple attacks. Oh! Like, it's fucking like minus kind of, yeah, two, so minus it's... three, or minus, it's fucking so low now. Yeah, you. I can ignore the penalty of attacking my hunted prey within the weapon's second and third range increments. Ooh, that's cool. So that's nice. I'm now a full sniper. Um, match for perception, you gain plus, which I do, plus four circumstance bonus to perception checks when seeking prey. Um, plus four circumstance bonus to survival checks when I track my prey. And hunter's edge benefit. Oh yeah, that's gonna be that's, fucking uh, That's uh, agile, I guess. Like super no, so, so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was gonna say, like, gonna say, like but now he has like minus one or, one or minus two PSI single, so I'm something ridiculous. Uh, something. Like, so so anti-synergistic with all the. Oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Still good. Who cares? It's, it's still, still good. Still busted. Yeah, it's uh <laughs> minus <laughs> with an agile, it'd be minus one, minus two. I, what, the one <laughs> thing Beck can do skill wise is basically fucking uh, athletics, and I have a fucking good athletics. So basically, right. like I should probably okay. also be able to like athletics are involved. That's yeah. I have plus thirty. Well, I, have, I have, have the option. I have plus thirty four athletics. It's stables and uh, iron works. Stables yeah, stables and iron works. Also, the keep actually. Destroy... Really but GC yeah. the prisoners is an athletics GC forty one like plus thirty four. Oh, yeah, like so I did. I did. There was a few things where I was just like, yeah, let's just sprinkle some really harder. Uh, so I got some prisoners. Guys, people are looking to try to I just sprinkled in some like just really hard athletics. But like, if there's other ones where you think, man, yeah, that could be applicable there, but it would be like, I don't think. Basically, we don't really need to map out like every possible. Way you, you could do the. Uh, if, if there's ones you want included, like the, you, then the section to release the prisoners for like talking them out of it, like pretending you're like people like moving them would be fucking fun. Like deception to release them, I think that'd be a cool one. Deception's not covered yeah, anywhere. I was in my yeah. It's it's see for me really yeah. It's the problem is more that like you've just you, you've used two actions to neutralize defenders, which basically just walking. Uh, through you have to, yeah, but, okay, you could, you could be like, like you could say if you use deception, you're not allowed to be someone involved in combat. So you say like, well, you know, that's something you could do. So the other people are doing that. Oh wait, oh wait a second, but if we have three people to keep, then the third person can't even do anything on the first action. So you can't solve three people. That you have to yeah, do yeah, it no, they can. They, yeah, they can because, because as long as as long as the first two people say, "I use my actually oh, okay. Then I use my actually okay, 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 okay. okay. Then the third person who's on the Dude, first round. Yeah, yeah I mean that makes sense. Yeah. Someone's even said to talk to like they're fighting to keep someone coming. It's like, hey, we got to get these prisoners out of here. They're being like, you know, someone's come through. Okay, okay, I'll put, a, I'll put a deception for. I, I mean, I'm never going to do it. I don't see any of us having any deception, but you know, I think it's cool. I think it's like, if I was a Vogue character, I'd be like, come on, let me talk about uh, Yeah, I've got a DC 38 with the oh, do I, Like, do I, do I retrain to get a spellcasting ability? So nah, not for this. Nah, nah. How much lower would the DC Chris? Like, three or something? 
to the view too. What's okay. it when you use a spell? Uh, does anyone remember where do I go to change? Oh, uh, it's in the options, right? Leveled spells. Yeah. So if you use level spells, it's up to the level of the spell. Ah, don't bother, man. Like, oh, if you get like retrained once, you get like a second level spell. Maybe it's a level spell. Like, my I wouldn't honestly make such a mm. big commitment for this. Just to be, just to be clear, you have to have like a also, spell. Man, it's narratively, narratively like if you're not, if you're not a divine spellcaster, you can't just go and use religion. Yeah, yeah, religion. sure, sure. You need to have like the. Yeah, well, so like Leon, you wouldn't take you. You're not interested in training to be a spellcaster, right? I mean, a good flavor looks. Yeah, good. Other yeah. things worth. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, I'm yeah, trade, so I can go anywhere and have a decent stuff. chance at almost any type of skill check. Because I'm fucking trained in, like, everything at this point. Also, also it's important to prioritize, like, you know, getting the most important ones done. Because if, there's, if there's any left over at the end, it's, like, you know, not destroyed. Yeah, yeah, like, loot. Yeah. It's, like, the ironworks or that, that sort of thing. What did the ironworks even give us? Like, when we just, if we, if we do it? Like, what's uh, the benefit? It's, it's, just, it's basically, yeah, it's everything is just, like, tactical, like, demilitarizing. Like, the whole by gamey terms, do we get, like, XP for, like, doing... Yeah, 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 you guys, it'll scare your experience, yeah. yeah in, okay. terms of, like, in terms of the world, it's just, like, yeah, it's whatever is... Okay, yeah, I mean, it's harder we, to, you know, use this to host a military campaign, basically, and cross the river and all that stuff. Cross I, mean, the river I, mean, I would say... like, plan out keep into Arms Depot, because they interact with each other, yeah, with yeah, yeah. and bridge, and then we just, like, free for all Ironworks and Stables afterwards, based on rules. Man, but then it's like, if if one like, person was, like, good at, like, four to five, like, I mean, Addy, I'm just so fucking hard. You go, like, three people in keep to fight, like, me and someone else on bridge to, like, neutralize and all do DC checks, and then we bum rush Arms Depot. Yeah, we meet at this point. But like, I mean, we can figure it out, right? If like the numbers actually work, like, would we actually like, better do it? Through athletics in there on the bridge, just every like the idea of back, like trying to headbutt a bridge support, like. Well, you want to see me do? You want to see me do it, Chris? I'll show you right fucking here. Hey, you want to see me headbutt a fucking bridge? I'm just gone. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> once you knock out two things, it becomes so much easier to like strategize on the fly, right? Like so. I don't think uh, we need to. But no, like we need Asik on the bridge, right? Because that's we need the most, that's on the bridge. Right? The bridge needs to be prepared, sure. I mean, okay, okay. So the vital one in the bridge. What are the free checks we do on the bridge? Like crafting, and then like, do we have? Can anyone do thievery for one thing? And I can. Okay, you can. Wait a second. Yeah, after the level up, I'll be plus twenty five. Okay, but wait a second. You said so. Even so, you can do crafting twice in a row. The second one's just harder, Chris. Yeah. yeah. How I much think I, do, I think I'll do all three. It's uh, yeah, one, it's yeah, good. one step on it. So the crafting okay, can be thirty six, then I'll be thirty eight. Okay, yeah, then that's it. It does free crafting, right? I, did, yeah, I just yeah, do all three better. plus one yeah. turn as a buffer in case I fail. Yeah, that's way better. And Honestly, like one, maybe Asik. Wait, so what? What? Is, maybe Asik oh, no, neutralizes the defenders himself, and then does one, the other. One thing. person comes with me to, to like neutralize, so we like don't waste. But it's it, but it wouldn't. Ah, I mean, it'd be they neutralize and they leave. But they'd be wasting. But they're wasting a turn moving away, right? Because it takes. Yeah, that's why the only person that would. Yeah, but the only person that is himself. Yeah, okay, so maybe maybe invisible. Okay, I yeah, mean yeah. I, I can do I can do most things. Mo all, most apart from athletics, all of my skills are. Could we use a spell to make stuff easier, Chris? I'm trying to figure out how do you have, 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 have plus thirty four again? In crafting. In athletics? Me. Yeah. Uh I have I'm got a mod of six, I'm legendary, and then I have a plus three for my item, because it's like the fucking uh right, right, titan's right. grass or whatever yeah, yeah. or no belt of how about that like how do you i'm like because i'm legendary and you have four more than me yeah i'm good at this one yeah yeah oh Dude, honestly oh one. chris wait a second the belt of giants even said you have a plus oh what the belt of giants actually has a plus three item for athletic checks and a plus two for athletic checks to escape and force open so it actually have a like even plus two yeah. more on, like breaking out the prisoners so i would have a yeah. fucking plus oh, 36 and breaking them out Okay, but then yeah, maybe Asik and Moonstone go to the bridge. Moonstone spends one turn there neutralizing while Asik does start yeah, doing Yeah, and then like Moonstone can move to Arms Depot to neutralize but, but, there, but, but, and then Dupacer will join him there. Then we're assuming that we destroy the bridge. We the bridge is ready after three rounds. Like yeah, and we have eight rounds to do stuff. Then yeah, you we have, have to, plenty of time. Then you have to spend the whole rest. If you have to spend five more rounds doing nothing. It's no, like we just we, we can decide when Zom arrives. No, no, say one person has to stay there until Zom arrives, though. Yeah, we can say Zom arrives on the fifth turn. So like, like, but then we have less time to succeed all the others, right? And no, it's just, it's just for the bridge. No, no, because I think when Zom's arrived, like it's over. Like it's yeah. really yeah. got it at least. No, I don't no, think because we talked about like when the bridge exploded, like yeah, just Zom just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my bad. Yeah. I saw when Zom exploded, like you know, then we're getting out of dodge, kind of thing. But I think we do. 
No, but yeah, yeah. liberating the town. Me, me and Munson on the bridge. Munson claims for arm depot to neutralize there. One person joins him there from keep to like do the double. On the yeah. Well, okay. So the arm depot sport. is probably not until after. Yeah, yeah. Arm depot definitely after. Keep. Yeah, yeah. We, we start with yeah. keep and bridge. Okay. And then... I'm going keep. I'm just gonna ride round one. I'm in keep. I'm just putting that in the list. Keep round yeah. one. Okay. So round so one. Got... All three of you are in keep. Bridge. Munson got bridge. bridge. Yeah, yeah, all three of you in keep. Yeah, let's just look at this. I'm gonna make my font big though. Oof. Why do we have so many like drop? Like why do we have so many? Okay, I was thinking <laughs> I was in case scared. we wanted to list the, the different like abilities or skills or anything uh, like that. Ah, sure, sure. That makes, that, makes sense, like that. that makes sense. I just gave us extra space so I didn't have to add rows. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, man, look at you, Cap. <laughs> the old <laughs> Cap. <laughs> Keep and put in there like what action you're doing. So. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, two of yeah, us yeah. are gonna be doing neutralize, right, in the keep. So which uh, so, so so Bromog back me and keep so you Bromog guys back. no no then we, who are the two people do who are the two actions for destroying vital documents if it's us three? Who okay, I, I so I have um. What were you thinking? I can do, do a thievery and in one of the Aeons. What is your Aeon bonus? My Aeon bonus is actually not bad either. Uh, it, I have plus twenty seven. Yeah, twenty seven. Okay, so either of us can do that, actually. I'm not sure. Yeah. And again, I have a thievery of plus But I'm thinking, I could actually increase my nature to legendary, actually, to be honest, because, like, then I'd be good on a lot more of these A1 ones, and I have no other skill I'm that interested in increasing to legendary. Right. I'm a druid, Jack! I'm a druid! Remember, you always forget. I'm a druid. He's a druid. Does Zom arrive at the end of the round or start of it? Like, can we do an action on the round he arrives? Whenever you specify, like. So, like. If I if yeah. I do like the action, can he arrive at the same turn I did the last check? Is, is the question like we don't have yes. to list. Yeah, he can because either either way you would just specify if it's wait, a also, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. The I, think round, I misunderstood. So. After Zom's arrives and everything, we can still say stay and continue doing stuff, or we leave. yeah, just yeah. someone has to be staying yeah, okay. there with okay, him okay, every okay, round. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I saw yeah. I saw when the bridge is gone, we're like fuck, let's leave. But okay. no, once no, once the bridge is gone, you guys can stay. Yeah, I guess it doesn't make sense. But we're like commanding the whole fucking town. It's not like we're destroying the bridge and running. Yeah, it's not like yeah. I mean, the bridge is the main thing, but like also just making it like harder to host a campaign here because the stables are completely out of commission. Yeah, yeah, the sure, ironworks sure. isn't able to you know repair yeah. equipment. But so we basically given ourselves a limit of eight hours, so we don't alert the other place more. Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. That's like kind of tactically. Yeah, that's like I mean, you know, higher level comments to be on all this, but like that sort of like yeah, we think that if you get there any later, they will have like you know like rallied enough reinforcements, summoned demon or devils or whatever. It'll be significantly yeah. harder to take. Chris. You know, if you don't do it that, that in that period, in that period. I checked by the way, in about giant shrimp, I just click it. You get the extra plus two for athletic checks to lift an empty object and escape and force open. So this would apply for like releasing the prisoners and shit. Right? Yeah, but would this also would apply? For, it wouldn't apply for any destroying infrastructure, right? It would just be for releasing prisoners. Um, so I wasn't sure what like uh, lift uh, empty object is kind of weird. I don't know. Force mm -hmm. open. I don't know. It depends. Like what we're for. Yeah, you know. Nah, nah. I don't think. Yeah, so. it's I not agree. For, like breaking doors down. Sure, or, like, sure. Yeah, I agree. It feels like if there's any kind of really destructive, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. Uh... So first round, mm -hmm. a few of us first round, I would neutralize the right? Yeah, yeah. You, you're pretty, you can pretty easily release prisoners, bomb. What's your bonus on C V? Again, twenty six. So. So you need to win that five. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so in game I'm like, yeah, I mean, we get there, and from, you know, you can run down a dungeon with me, hold on, I'll take out the guys on the walls, and we'll all fucking rush in together, go to a big old office and show them, show them who they mess with, right? Right? Yep. Good. Yep. Alright, second round then. Decapitate. So here's, again, that's, yeah, do, do I stay to decapitate, or I could technically jump oh, to the arms depot. That's true. Leon, what do you, how are you feeling? Neutralizes my defenders and a free stealth move because again plus thirty on. No, I think we one. need you. I think we need you to stay and help over the dog. Yeah, okay, that's, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Or again, uh, actually, it's probably decapitate if we're being honest. Well, just so, but you could technically destroy the documents while we're decapitating, right? Ooh, right. The that's problem is, again, true. Y y right, but I just worry that it's not as straightforward of a fight as we're thinking. I no, want three say, there. Me and Mac are pretty good. Team. We're a team, you know. I, oh, I know. I'm not doubting your abilities. What I'm doubting is that yeah, it they be as know easy more. as we assume. We will have the element of surprise. Sure, there's high intentions, but this is a small town. What resistance are you expecting? Well, if you if you leave from after you say the prison, I don't know if we could. I don't know what kind of papers I'd be looking for to destroy, or like you know what 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 that would be about. 
mean you have plus 27, right? Just... To what, sir? Well, you're Aaron. Yeah, my A1 I could just get. I could use a spell slot and make that like 36, and then I. But I mean, I have still a need to add 9. Okay, not too bad. It should be doable. Right. It's, if it's you fail a check, Chris, so does it increase the DC, or can I repeat it again at the same DC? Okay. My only success is increased. Okay, yeah, yeah, so if I had to, I could save for an extra round. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, but then. I'm no, thinking I mean, that. Yeah, but then, okay, I mean, again, like, CV and crafting, like, and even me and Leon can do either of those, right? You could stay and do the CV for that, I think. True. Makes more sense. True. Well, but again, I mean, the, the biggest advantage that I will have is I need to be able to quickly travel around places since I have the highest stealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you start in the Yams Depot then? Neutralize defenders. Ooh, then, like, that's interesting. Yeah. And then, then I can yeah, get five defenders there, and then I can yeah. meet up on the second round, all three of you. Oh, that's okay. Good. That's a good and, shout. And then yeah, the yeah. two of you can leave and bring yeah, yeah, yeah. to destroy the documents afterwards. That makes sense, that's really... Or, so I think, like, if we did so that, so no, if I started no, there, neutralized the arms depot. Yeah, me and Beck, the first round. You would neutralize the defenders right there. I yeah. would then do my free, hopefully, travel with stealth, assuming I don't completely. How, 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 success, how likely is it? So, yeah, how good is your I stealth? have plus 31. And it's plus so 34, I, DC? And we have a hero point. Yeah, 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 yeah. 36, like, not 5, though. Yeah. And you for free, and you do the like three person yeah, encounter, yeah, yeah. and like yeah. the two of you can leave south where ironworks or stables, and Broom destroys the documents. Um, Who's releasing prisoners then? You also would do that, actually. Yeah. No, yeah, no, you would release. Dead. You would release the prisoners. What? Oh no, 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 no. What we would do is like. Uh... I know. Can me and me on, ah, You need to do a lot, though. But you need. You need. Maybe honestly, I release the prisoners. Like it's a forty-one athletics. I have plus thirty-six. Right. So I'm maybe. Sure. Not five, yeah. So I think it makes almost more sense for I me mean, to do that, and you're destroying about a document, so you put you can use CV for that. So you use one. Yeah, that's what, do that. So the other thing oh, is, no, I don't no, know no. if we start in the RMC because technically, uh, what I'm thinking right is it is free to loot and destroy the equipment if we have done the prisoner release first. Yeah, yeah but by the time exactly. you, but it, uh, Anybody can just like like move them and stand there for a round to do it. Yeah, that's true. Well, like, yeah. you also can also move there with stealth. She's exactly. Stealth. Literally, yeah. anyone can just like stand there for. Well, you only going to spend the first. We also going to spend the first turn at bridge, right? Moves yeah. Neutralize defenders, and for free could go to the arms depot second round. If here's oh, oh Chris. Actually, here's a good question useful. for Chris: Is if we are able to within two rounds basically free the prisoners and then arm them, what benefit? Do we have for the other six rounds potentially? No, no. none. No. Yeah, no. They, they, they like you know. They, they once they arm, they can defend themselves and escape, and that's like it's you know you've oh. rescued. I was wondering if we could use them to be the one round like to defend the bridge. I think mean, they're like I don't know, but I mean like there's loads of other people in this place. Oh no, maybe I don't know. It seems like I got a kind of no. Defense, it's like, not. It's not really. It's not okay. like you guys. It's not something really, it's really planned for. You guys haven't had contact That's with yeah, the prisoners. Yeah, yeah, like you guys yeah, can't yeah. plan to like, really include them in your plan. I yeah. think, man. I think I should be releasing the prisoners in the keep just because. It's not, I just want to make this clear like real quick. I'm looking at my skills. I got diplomacy, intimida intimidation, society a little bit, but other than that, I don't really do much. So maybe I should do like the more of the free actions. So maybe you should be the guy who takes them to the arms depot, actually, as well. Something like that, yeah. But if 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 Leon started at the arms Leon, depot, Leon Leon kills the horses. Oh yeah, wait, you you can do you want you've got nature. Oh, right? Put him out of the misery. You've got nature for the A one. He's got very good nature. Well, yeah, I'm not another spell class thing. But you, but it's just, oh, it's oh, just nature. I thought it was. I thought you yeah, only yeah. needed the class and tradition. The to horse, get lower. No, for the horse, yeah, for the horse is just nature. It's not the horse is oh. not restricted to needing a spell casting. Yeah. Yeah. That's just that's just nature like animal yeah. handling them. Yeah, but we could also kill them for free. Uh, I mean, <laughs> why? Nature is pretty easy. Okay, yeah. fine. Okay. Um, I mean, I have plus twenty-seven, so I could do it too. But I think, ah, man. But Leon, you can also just yeah. You need to do free ones, which I think you should be at the keep. I mean, and also yeah. killing them. I think Leon needs to be. Leon, do you have Leon, a knowledge? Really combat, like, Leon, do you have a knowledge that's like applicable to anything that we can? Apply no, the only one that that even. It's close to legal or that's only plus I actually 19, think so. okay, that could apply to vital documents. But it's only plus nineteen anyway, so it's not gonna mm, fair. Uh, we, we But I know I, I, Leon, you need to you need to be doing the keep stuff with us. And then after that, sure, you can go to the arms depot. Yeah, you know, yeah, but you started yeah. the keep, you defenders, you help us kill it, then you go do the two actions at the arms depot with the prisoners helping them, right? 
that does seem like a Leon thing to do. Yeah, Leon's a pretty, pretty excellent candidate for taking the prisoners yeah, to the yeah, arms yeah, depot. Yeah, yeah. yeah it doesn't seem like... defenders for them and then waiting two actions while they... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah but maybe we don't start at the arms depot, actually. No, I think we started the keep, not the arms depot, yeah. Right. Mm. Well, only the only question would be like it, again I could technically start there neutralize to start and then free yeah. travel for the second round with you guys to decapitate <laughs> I, think Leon to neutral, I think Leon just neutralizes it when he goes there with the prisoners and just spends you know like Measure. one neutralizing it in two rounds and the not it, gonna okay, be it, too so that, that two <laughs> rounds doesn't matter because yeah. it's free well, it matters if you want to complete everything in the round limit right well, like, no, I'm saying one like, one if, one if, one as long as he takes him there, is he still have to be there for two rounds while yes, they lose? Yeah, he needs to be there. He needs to be there for two rounds. He just doesn't do any checks, right? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I. Said. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so that uh, makes a lot of sense for Leon to do, but that's a lot of rounds. It does. Yeah, yeah. It's like if yeah. Brimrock starts at the keep, he has nothing to do, right? That's why he would start the arms. Well, no, no that's why. He if we both so, try defend as well, he needs to defend Yeah. Oh, okay. He has a good CV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, man, I like these uh, tokens. Okay, so we free start it, man. I like this. Oh, this is like on the map. We have like our to we have our tokens, like our Hero Forge characters that we made, and we're like yep. moving them around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know, like, I just, just to set the scene a little more, right? Like this meeting, this is like this planning takes place obviously over like a couple, and honestly, it's like some of this would have narratively happened before, like in a couple of weeks before yeah, yeah. Um, the ritual. And yeah, it's like taking place in you know in like a big room which kind of has a permanent map set up that you guys you know you guys are using. I mean, I say a big room; it's not one of the big, but it's one of the rooms that are around. Um, you know, sometimes it's you guys. Sometimes you have like other you know people in here. There's like talk at one point. Um, you have um, Lawmaster Theralon and um, uh, got Andrew Morrigan in here, like debating whether or not like any of any of like the they're not like obviously going to commit like mass forces here, but like if you guys need the backup of like one or two of his like special oh, like, forces teams to accomplish anything, like it's dis it's decided. No, they're more, probably more useful elsewhere. You guys should have like all the major objectives covered here between you. But you know, like there's a lot of like people are in and out. There's a lot, a lot of NPCs yeah, yeah. and stuff contributing and like kind of interested. And meanwhile, like as you guys are doing this. They were like, it's like, I mean, it's not like quite like an office building, so it sounds very boring, but like the next room over is like planning an attack on a different, like the whole campaign is being planned out, like in rooms just like this one, yeah. um, by like all the commanders and people involved, like towns that'll be captured, how they'll be logistically supported, who's going to be like, you know, so like, you know, thematically, and you know, you guys can be wandering in and out of those rooms as well, you know, like even, you know, contributing or like kind of just seeing the general shape of like the whole thing sort of unfolding. You guys are sort of well respected enough that like nobody sort of says, hang on, you're not, what are you doing in this room? This isn't your sort of room to be in, you're in that room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, nice. I s yeah, okay. The yeah. whole mass planning kind of thing is going on. It's a very sort of. So high gonna make, oh, we can't fight in this is the war room. If there is a room with a giant map, that means there are like in universe minis of our characters, right? Yeah, that'd be like Hero Forge. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We have those Hero Forge guys. He's already on the and he's like, you know, covered in blood. I'm like, yeah, this is a great mini. I love this mini. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> when we go to keep I have a mini of the enemy, and I'm like, rah, 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 Zombs made them for you and are all like vaguely insulting in some way. Damn. <laughs> you made my like, Asex is really small. Like, really, really small. <laughs> on, a, on four legs, you know, like just a mass. He knows uh, where it hurts. Man. Leon, I think we need you. Uh, I think second round, were you not going to still help uh, decapitate the head? Like, uh, oh, yes. fuck yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. How many times of buffer should I leave myself for the bridge? I think, I think if we want to be really safe, it would be two. Okay. Because yeah. I have a feeling that one of the things that might happen is the uh, Zoms gets delayed. We can get like a uh, walkie talkie, right? Because they exist, so we can all talk to show what is happening. <laughs> the walkie rockies. Are they like sending stones at like low enough level that we would just all have them? And like these kind of, like, I'm just seeing like in general these kind of like uh, assaults, you know? Like would, would, uh, yeah. Mm. Use like an in your Bluetooth, you know. It's an Aeon stone. Some... Gives you oh, the chance of extending once a spell at uh, uh, once a day, not. Mm. Mm. I mean, we could get a one descending or something, I guess. Or, like sending scrolls, sending scrolls, I guess, would be the most kind of thing that makes sense. So you could like talk back and forth to people. Yeah, like that's a planetary thing with like a message of twenty-five words, like a fifth-level spell. Man, that's fifth Surely. level. Maybe you didn't like this shit in two E, huh? Okay, like a spell like connects creatures psychically for like a day or something. Oh, uh, that's, uh, yeah. Mm. That's perfect bond. They exist in five E. 
Yeah, five you know a, a stone is standing is that you do it like infinitely or some shit. <laughs> uh, telepathic bond is a fifth level spell. Uh, you and up to four willing creatures touch and targets communicate telepathically with any of the other targets at any point on the same planet. Yep. Eight eight hours. Hours. That's, so that's exactly an uncommon spell, but this is you know it's like kind of yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's, it's, it's literally meant for like. The resistance would certainly like find a way to provide you guys a casting of this, like oh, yes, yes. without you guys having to expend the spell slot. Sweet, on. sweet. Okay, so we can talk if stuff goes wrong. We can like be there for help each other. Yeah, you guys can basically be in each other's heads for the entire. Man, but you know, this is so weird. Like, this is a fifth level spell, and sure, okay, it's like less good, but like sending. I mean, honestly, is, like, sending is a fifth level spell, and that's like one message. You know, you can send it. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, communication is yeah, so it could be anyone. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they, yeah, everyone has. The communications are so essential that, like, the resistance, as part of, like, you know, all this planning and everything, they're really churning out these scrolls because you'd, you'd, want one, yeah. you'd want one for every battle. For every battle, you'd want all yeah, of yeah. your, like, commanders to be, you know, wherever they were, telepathically linked, so fucking, yeah. like, on, on, on the radio with each other. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, there's definitely one of these for you guys for this, um, for this battle. Okay, that's that's probably, actually, I'm sure it's, like, standard military practice. Nice, nice. Okay, that's good. Okay, in that case, not that the re resistance is standard. Okay, so after the second round, man, Chris, can we? Oh, I know. Okay, let's. I'm just gonna like write stuff on this map for now, so we yeah, can like yeah. keep track of what's happening. Right. So like at the second round, I'm gonna cross out what should be done. So neutralized defenders should be done, right? At the end of the second round. Yeah. At the yeah. Uh, no, at the end. Yeah, at the end of the second round. Yeah, yeah. So ideally, defenders are down and the dawn is decapitated. Those should both be done by the end of the second round. Also, Ron, what were you doing the first round? Release the prisoners. Okay, so that should also be done at the end of the first round. Yep. What? And then your asset, you're doing two crafting checks, right? On the first two rounds? Oh, yeah, what I do too. Uh, oh, two rounds. Yeah, 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 round, yeah, yeah, one per round. Yeah, yeah, and sorry. Moonsong, you're, you're going to uh, neutralize the prison defenders at the bridge, right, to start? Yeah. Sure. And then, okay, and then no, at the no, second round, can you round. help with any of the prepare your destruction things? Can you do any of those? The what? The prepare for destruction. Oh, like uh, I mean, my What's crafting your... my crafting is plus, uh, my plus 21. No, okay, what about, what's your, what's your A1? Oh, yes, I will yes. distribute Not this, you'll get like plus 4 item bonus too. Bunch of shit. Mm. Oh, well, okay. I oh, okay. Cool. It's, cool. Cool. Crafting. it's been now yeah. 17 and it's major, so... Yeah, okay, crafting. Yeah, okay. But like, what is your Crafting also. Like, you're kind of crafting law occultism society. Like, it's the. Yeah, yeah. But law, no law. Oh, yeah, occultism. Oh, yeah. Oh. Occultism and the, yeah, like, Aeron, right? Our kind of. Well, no, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't give you. It doesn't give you uh, religion, sorry. No, so, it, doesn't give, it doesn't give you religion or. Well, yes. What's your, what's your religion, Tom? Uh, 23. No, that's, a, that's your. Is that your best spellcasting in the one? No, yeah. Arcana's got to be higher. No, no he's, he's a divine guy. So he just he, he ain't a book, just, book guy. Yeah, no, no not the. Uh, it's not that. But uh, so not that's not too hard to do a DC forty one. Okay, I'm just very good at all. Of we, we can't do the most. Right? List good. The drawbacks is too big. No, no. Yeah. Okay. So I think Asik. Yeah. You. So okay. So on the end of round one, you're gonna. So you're gonna do the defenders. What are you gonna do round two, Moon Song? Uh. Can we, no move Claudia off to, can we move Claudia off the bit, Jacko, so I can read it? The thing only lasts for an hour, so it's like for the one round, right? It's going like to expire I for the next I specifically didn't move Claudia onto this map, how does she... <laughs> she finds it's contained Claudia, man. Shit, what, is, what is Tom doing then? What skills are you good at? Well, well, well like I say, I have at least 20 in basically every skill. Mm-hmm, but what, if, what ones are you good at? Yeah, at least 21 in every skill, actually. What are you legendary in? Uh, society and diplomacy. Right, so oh man, once Crix didn't make something. anything for that bastard. <laughs> uh, oh, but we bad um, society to the documents and deception to the prisoners. Okay. What about the policy law? <laughs> what, <about, laughs> what about talking the houses out? The horses, the houses. What about... So uh, here's, here's the other option, guys. As much as I want to be a part of the decapitate because Dawn is my mm -hmm. preferred enemy type yeah, yeah. and that seems useful, what if we have Moonsong... Yeah, I was also saying that could be okay, actually. Because then she yeah. can destroy as well, yeah. Yeah, but maybe the, maybe the strategy you know, is just to like, make sense. You know, maybe the strategy is sense. just to make a list of all the free ones and just assign as many of those to people who yeah, <laughs> have, yeah, yeah. have no skills as possible. 
Okay, yeah. so, oh man. Okay, so, okay maybe <laughs> Moonsong starts at the keep, and then like you know, if you assume Moonsong's got good stealth, so normally a free movement, and then like you and Leon actually neutralize the defenders while I free the prisoners using my athletics, and then the three of oh, us. If me, we're doing that, I I would just free the prisoners. No, no, no. But then we have four people here. And I don't think that's worth it. Oh, so, no, right, then right. I don't You're have anything else to do. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying I'm saying gotcha, gotcha, here gotcha. instead, so she can do the other free one, and then I yeah. do the sieve, I do the athletics to destroy. And I also think honestly, Moonsong's a good fucking backup if a fight goes bad. Moonsong's like got like you know stop someone like dying. Shit, but, like, what if Moonsong just solos the high command? I mean, this could happen, could happen. But I mean, like, me, I think, like, you know, the thing is, me, Leon, and uh, Brom is a shit ton of damage, but not that much, like, fucking, like, you know, Ability. healing. Yeah, like, <laughs> what if they're, like, you know, they do something tricky? I'm fucking all utility, basically. Yeah, yeah. I but mean, yeah, I it... yeah. And then, like, Bromok could be here and then do, like, the Seavery on the bridge, maybe? Like, you know? Well, I don't, I don't, again, if we want to do, the, if I'm going to do actions on the bridge besides just be there for the first time to neutralize so Ass can get right to it, I actually think he and I start in the Ironworks. Ironworks? Incredible. What would you do in the Ironworks, Steve? We Before both just start working on destruction. He does it via crafting, I do a thievery check. Yeah, so you both do two of each? Yep. Hmm. And then we both go to the bridge afterwards, That's your or yeah, to the stables. No, basically, at the end of the second round, the ironworks could be gone by that logic, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's the hope. Okay, maybe I like that. Yeah, yeah, maybe I like that. Hmm. This is exactly okay. what I was hoping for, and I like the vibe that, that this would be because we're basically representing like, all just the plans that you guys were constantly up moving like, around. Yeah. This yeah. is what we're doing. Eh? All right. So, okay, so let's hypothetically, if we did that, ironworks would be gone. Wait, let me draw a line. Ironworks would be gone. Well, that's the hope after two rounds, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pending, that, yeah. Pending this rolls. Is all, I mean, things that out, and we, this is all, this is all we basically bad, can do yeah. everything in the keep in the same time. Yeah, after two rounds. Yeah, okay, so in the first round, yeah, it would be you two neutralizing prisoners, me freeing the prison. Free, you two neutralizing the defenders, me freeing mm -hmm. the prisoners, and then the three of us killing on the second one. Okay, so the end of the second round, wait, you two, you two move yourselves down to the ironworks, if I can get my brain straight. You, you guys would all be down <laughs> there. This would be the second round. And yeah, then... Sorry. I mean, you're oh, fuck. But like, who? How do we destroy the viral documents in the keep? Because because Moonsong can use society, right? We, we discussed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Moonsong, so how good is your society, Moonsong? Like twenty-seven. Twenty-seven, yes. And what would the you think is society? The bonus is thirty. Thirty-four yeah. 30, on. Uh, it's thirty-four, society. and you'd have plus four from the cognitive mutagen. Yeah. So then you'd have plus. 31 and CC 34. So maybe you spend two uh, turns staying there and doing both of them, like one a little harder, but still like DC 36 mm. when you have plus 31, right? Okay, yeah, makes sense. And then, so after the four, yeah, it's okay. So third round, let me just like, you know, so three, on round three. That's funny, then, it makes sense in character that Moonsong would be the one who'd be like, okay, I'll go like, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So on the other three round, there's one of these left. We did it. Uh, Leon, you will have moved over to the arms depot, but not yeah. have started doing anything there. I guess I will have moved over to. Honestly, I can do a lot of stable shit. My nature's good, so I can like destroy the infrastructure, and like you know, uh, I have like good athletics, so I can destroy the infrastructure as well. So maybe right. on my second turn, I try to travel over to the stables, and then you two both try to head over to the bridge. Bromok ideally gets there for free, and then destroys, neutralizes the defenders. Yep. So in the third round. I have like 50 to get there for free. It's a coin. Yeah, okay, but and if you fail, is there any downside to failing the stuff check? There must be why everyone would just do it, right? There's got to be some penalty for failing the stuff. Right? Well, you, you don't get the free action, right? But that's not a penalty, then like everyone would always do stuff, right? Uh, yeah, yeah no, I think, I want to say I think I'm happy with basically everyone just like... Okay, I'm just assuming I would never succeed, it doesn't matter, I wouldn't factor yeah. in my calculations. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I'm, I think I'm happy with like just like every time you move, you try a stealth, and if you succeed, that move was free until oh, sure, like, it okay. gets too hard to do. That's oh. okay with me. I like these. Can I the use Claudia styles if I like, ride her? I don't know if like. It's like I want to go through this town. I like to see. I want to go through this town less noticeably. So I. Use your best shot on my armored tiger? Like, I don't know if that's. Obviously, everyone sees you, but they're not fucking with the guys on a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, I don't see that tiger. I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, intimidation to skip movement action. So, no, I think uh, I think I think not so much. I think okay. Not okay. So, so, wait, so Asik, but yeah, like, how do you kill stuff? It's good, right? So, Asik, it's not bad. Uh, I mean, it's decent. I just bumped it to master with the screen increase, and it's twenty-seven now. So, like, it's, it's actually 30. good. And you'll have a potion, right? To make it even better. 
I couldn't find him. I thought there was one. The movement, the movement, it's like not like you conceal and stuff, but not one like you. What's up, sir? Like the the movement between the places takes. It's an action, but if you succeed on a stealth check, it's free. Okay, okay, sure. I should have just put it as a crucial dexter. Oh yeah, quicksilver, you're right. Yeah, quicksilver will do it. Yeah, yeah. So quicksilver mutant mage at level seventeen is a bonus of plus four. So then, like, you, you succeed a lot as well, then. Okay, Chris, okay. I have another thought. I, I don't know how there's a... But can I use my favorite enemy type, Dawn, to any form of advantage to know maybe where they might throw a wrench? Or a, a higher likelihood? Um, That's cool. I know them in and out. If you prepare with all these... So firstly, I think that... What does favorite enemy normally give? Like, bonuses on, like, tracking them and stuff? A couple, yeah. Let me pull up... Sorry. Pull up the right thing here. Right, so what did I achieve my plan to? I'm now keep level one free people free. Business. Okay. God, where is it? What favorite enemy, it? Dawn. Set a specific type of wild creature, but you let me do this for this one. <laughs> With a roll initiative, and you can see the enemy it belongs, I can hunt prey immediately. Use a free action if you haven't identified the creature yet. Tom, on your first thing in the keep, you were going to neutralize defenders, not do the document. Yeah, okay. Um, no, it's mostly yeah, combat. No, I, about it. Excel, Tom. I mean, of course. Um, I'm not you would ex Yeah, I mean, I guess you would expect that... Uh, from just your encounter with Dawn in the past, that um, if they have prepared anything that you you know you sort of are trying to anticipate, but that you don't know anything about, like uh, they tend to enjoy devil ambushes, um, like oh, having or like having a way of like summoning an unexpected like devil reinforcements when and like you know things are sort of, like that's happened. You've seen that a couple of times. And, um, yeah, what, like, you know, so, may so maybe some of them, time, as opposed to, like, specifically where, um, you, I guess, hmm, how would I phrase this? You've just observed it generally in their tactics that when the Dawn feel threatened or... So like, like, like they're losing control. Like when when the dawn are losing control in a region, um, you know when they're like when their patrols are cha challenged, their response is always like quite conservative. It's to like retreat into the keep to stop patrolling the region until like enough reinforcements are being brought up to like keep their patrol. They don't like send out more men to sacrifice, hunt all the rebels down and sacrifice their lives. I mean, it's, if they when they have the manpower, they do. They're absolutely ruthless like that. But they are. You know, conservative with the lives of their their soldiers, and like you know, realistic about what can like be accomplished, and like tend tend to caution and retreat, and like you know, hunkering down, and like so, yeah, maybe I don't know if there's like ways that might influence how you would expect them to like plan an emergency response, like their town coming yeah. under attack and stuff. But yeah, so they, and that's if anything that leads me to even be more fully kind of like uh, more than likely as soon as we start everything more than likely they'll start to reinforce the hermitage right like but that's why because... we're doing that first right like that's yeah. me that's what we're starting with yeah yeah, yeah i agree that should always get me thinking I mean, you definitely first. attack the yeah, yeah. command structure first yeah but you're on your side okay, yeah, it's yeah. like traveling right not actually at the arms deeper yeah yeah no that's what i'm travel doing. two arms oh no, that's what you I have a... can i buy <laughs> formulas from right, so the on the second round i do the destroy all documents right yeah 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 and then the third round as well you buy formulas from what from the resistance, like, do they have stock of formulas? Uh, uh, I mean, no, they, they, will, they will share any, all formulas that they have. For like, on what level are we talking about here? Seventeen. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah common, a little, though. they might be a little short. On... A little short. Um. Wow. Nice. Short jokes. Wow, well, zombs. Food. Um. Do we? Oh, sorry. Do we need to end up in the same place at the end of the eighth hour? No. Okay, good. No, there's like a hypothetical ninth, you know, regathering, yeah, 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 sure, you know, sure. move over, you'll get together and then that. I mean, basically, right, it's a few hundred feet, like, fuck, can we do that in like a few seconds if we actually need to meet somewhere? And, like, you know. Yeah, that's not a problem. Just fucking when, when there's no need for. Okay, I mean, I'm up to round six, you know, I'm just keep, keep travel, stable, stable, stable. It's kind of simple for me. Yeah, keep, keep. 
Yeah, um, if you guys if you guys make a plan to get this done in six out of eight, you should probably feel comfortable in being able to. Yeah. Was that the, the, iron... the iron works from the bridge? Yeah, I think we're gonna start at the iron works. So you and uh, Vom are gonna we're... each. Yeah, have we're gonna try best. to two round the iron works. Yeah, and then both travel for three to the bridge. Hopefully, like you yeah. know, you have gets like with the plus four self, you have like what I said, plus thirty one or something. You're pretty good. No. Yeah, I good? think so. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, then, yeah thirty six. If we have a hero point, yeah. Yeah, and I can't fail my first one, so I will, no matter what, get there to neutralize that round. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's perfect. Yeah, but you gotta, yeah, but you gotta be there so you can start doing the crafting. And then, what are you doing at the bridge? You're then. I can also technically prepare it if I want to. Like, if that's I need true, it. you could save maybe the last craft. Which one would you better do? The uh, thievery. Yeah, okay. That's the next well, lowest. What's your although, this quick the thievery is plus. Are you gonna have yeah, quicksilver? Because... Are you gonna have it? Uh, yeah, yeah actually, fine. Do anything for it? Asik is plus awesome four to CV checks as well. The quicksilver is oh, fucking good, yeah. man. It's an item plus, bonus. Yeah, so that would, really that would move it to plus. Oh yeah, it's an item bonus. Yeah, bonus. yeah you, you know what, David? Yeah, you know, you know, common. No. Oh, formulas. Can you? You got time to research them, you know? Like, isn't there a thing about inventing formulas in a? Yeah, I get two per level, right? But like, no, there's also a way. There's also a way to invent them. Like, there's a skill feature to invent formulas. Oh shit, sure. that's uh, Maybe we should make it get that instead. I'm invent by Yeah, maybe we should make it that. Oh yeah, that's not the common ones. That's oh yeah, I can oh, spend doubt time to invent common gosh. formulas. Oh, it makes yeah. me invent if it's so bad because it's poor guys. Oh shit. Like if I like, we got level 17, how would you get a campaign at this level? Let's just fucking play with the formulas, you know? Right, Thank fair you. Enough, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Alright. Alright. for everybody. Okay, oh not for me, thanks. Are these a perfect ones so there's no downsides? Yeah, that plenty of yes, it's, it's, it's the perfect Dude, If you have a level 17 Elixir with no downside, I'm going to take a different one, thanks very much. I'm going to Okay, have... which one? Uh, what this? Is Where is it? Quicksilver... Yeah, yeah, why not? Wait, there must be some good ones. There must be some other good ones. Alright. There must be a chemical... Oh, and it's, Wait, is, it, is it major Quicksilver? Oh, yeah. Woot. <laughs> what are the high... There's like Silver Tongue Mutagen. Ooh. Savine. What's Savine? Level 17 this? is a good level. Serene does a nature and religion, so I guess I would do that so I'm better at the A1 stuff. Serene. Okay. That's not. I know. Beck refuses. Just out of pure spite to take a Serene Mutagen before this battle. I fucking yeah, refuse. I, I am not doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get inner serenity. No, no, no. You find violence off putting. I don't care if I ignore the drawback of doing less damage. I'm not fucking taking it. Mm. That's what's happening. Maybe one of these other ones will make more sense. Yeah, that one. Cognitive Mugen? Nah, also doesn't negate sense. <laughs> oh one. god, and it's a lot of speed. Sweet. War Blood Mugen. Ooh, that's cool. Nah, I don't need any. Though. So it's plus cool. four to, so yeah, stealth Wait, so and yeah, thievery, so that's great. The idea, okay, Mugen is doing... Stuff. Mugen I'm gonna fake play it out just to see if there's an issue. Are we, are we at the, are we still, wait, stables are done, wait, is that It's gonna be easier to see what better? needs to be done when you're like, just... Alright, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Everything goes well, go then. It. Alright, I mean, we can't. I mean, that's the other thing, right? It, right? But how old, how long are we assuming the fight takes? Like, the moderate encounter? Like, I feel like we've only planned one mouth for that for some reason. Oh, it is, no, it is. It's one. It's, oh, yeah, it's oh, one. Okay. Oh, of right. course. Yes, an hour. Yeah, yeah, it's not one. Well, we yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. assume you, you're not going to yeah. die for the, for the simulation. <laughs> it could take less than an hour. Yeah, yeah. So, the other option, right, is I do the two rounds at the Ironworks, free travel to the bridge, neutralize. Next round, free travel stables get started there. I mean, I have nothing. I should do the stable stuff. I have no other skills that are useful, and there's nothing else to do on the map. I right, I just I would do one of the things. But I mean, and then I can even, free travel even, back to the bridge potentially. I mean, sure, but even with me like doing slow travel and going there, I still get all my stuff done in six rounds, and none of the checks are very hard. Like if if you have literally nothing else to do, you can come help me. Sure. Yeah, I just I feel but like I would, I would do it after. I would, I would do the bridge stuff for. Okay, yeah, if you just say that, and sure, yeah, you can try traveling back and forth. But because really again, need... after my first time doing that, even with the plus four, right, like. It still needs to be. It's a DC thirty-eight thievery. I okay, yeah, plus thirty. You're, you're done at the end the of first time. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that yeah, after yeah. that first one, well, I think one. Uh, but if, if we're getting ready for like a drawback, the drawback's going to be sure. the bridge, not the fucking sables. I would rather have somebody guarding asset than just sure. That's fair. Guarding back, yeah. Yeah. Also, we should we should plan for some. I think I think after what happens. after after destroying the documents and shit, I think I just go to the bridge and stay there. Yeah, I think like honestly, as soon as anybody is done with their sub, we should all be at the bridge. That's where she'll sure. go down if if you know we're trying to blow it up. So all we got the blaze of glory on the bridge explodes. Are <laughs> like, uh, we have a lot of fire with this, don't we? But 
Okay, well, we can. My... Should we try running it just to see what would happen? Yeah. Alright, alright. Yeah, so we're so talking. Maybe let's roll initiative to just see who goes first when we describe our bounds. That sounds easy. And yeah, uh, like, like all of the rules was very badly specified, but in the actual thing, you guys can do like. In each turn, who you can act, and you don't have to act the same order every turn. You can act like whichever. Okay, then maybe we whoever you say, just whatever is just easiest for you guys to say. Okay, okay just this person is like them, tries and standards, and etc. Et what say? Do what say? Just call it by webcams or something, like so we can keep track. You do it by the list in uh, in uh, what's it called? Google Sheets. Mm, right? you, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Right. I don't even need a beer. This is great, but I've written the whole thing. But I don't know if I can take a piss <laughs> while you guys war game this out. I can't wait to see how it wet when I get back. <laughs> you right. took us twenty rounds, Chris. <laughs> right, uh... All right, I'm gonna take notes, but uh, yeah, so... okay, but okay. I, it goes first, yeah. Because okay, so we arrived there. Okay, all right. This is exactly how it's gonna go down, guys. So I'm gonna like show up in the keep. You, you go take out the shitty arches on the walls, and I'll run straight for the for the for the dungeons. I you know, break out those poor fucks who've been caught down there. I'll, it'll go fucking great. You know what I mean? How how tough can the doors be? I'll pull them off the fucking hinges. You like this! I have a door I'm demonstrating with in the room. I just, you know, go on, just rip it off the hinge. Uh, let me try it. Yeah, look at it, fucking god. Don't stop my hands. Are you, are you, are you, what are you sure going to be able doing? to resist the fight? Yeah, it's fucking like just dawn private, so I don't want to fucking waste my time. Oh, you all confident? No, you are. I'll be waiting at the door to the office for you when you're done with those sorry mm. fronts. Alright, let's talk about that in a second then. Yeah, so first, me and my son. Clear the key. Is it? Yeah, you two clear it out. That's what actually you really quick? You started with. Uh, releasing the prisoners. Releasing prisoners, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you two gonna have no problem, I'm damn sure. Okay. And Thievery! Let me get to the right place here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Brom, you're over the ironworks with with Asik, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Like I don't know whatever happens to ironworks. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you guys are what are you doing? I'm sure we'll see the smoke, uh, Bob. All right, two successes. Oh, oh so that would be both your bounds, man. You're skipping. Oh no, I'm crafty. Yeah. Fuck it. Oh my god. Oh okay, and that's a success. Ironworks. Yeah. Success. Okay, so that's everyone for the first round. Sure, sure. And Brom for the second round. Well, yep. And then, yeah, that's, do you want to do your second crafting? That's what you do in the second round, right? Mm -hmm. Just one more crafting, right? I'm yep. Skipping around. Hey, the DC doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, it's going to be around a bit. It's going to be around a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah DC, DC is much. It was. It's going to be 36 for you now and 38 for me. 38? Yep. No, 33, right? Yeah. 31 for the first, 34 for the second, 36, 38, 41, 46. Is it it's up under, three each or that was two each? It jumps weirdly. It's in the display. Yeah, that's true. It does drop weirdly. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I assume you're taking the lower ones, right? So, like, we did the 31 and 34. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, like, you go for 36 now. No, uh, Brom did I, it twice. I already rolled mine in 41. You, you already rolled twice, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why I was assuming that you to make them. Okay, so you would have succeeded on that one, no problem. The bus, the bus four, yeah, yeah. And then we just assumed and Oh, and then, you know, we'll go in a fucking office and we'll wipe them all off the face. A little of scuffle with them, I'm sure. So oh, I was a big fucking scuffle. We're rolling that uh, D20 to see it. how the fight goes. Oh, we've been down here for weeks. I mean, if you doubt no, one, one of you dies. All an attack roll, you know, not, not a silly D20. No, 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 no. Oh, why do I find slash D20? Everyone will with you, We can see which one of us dies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever's the lowest. Oh, oh shit! Well, Leon 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 Jacko. Moon Song's gonna be so wiped. Oh no! no! <laughs> Rip oh, back! Then, uh, uh, then then you'll bury problem. me, but I'll go down with a fucking smile on my face and be damn sure that. First time you yeah, died, yeah. you know it's it, fine. Your, your dying breaths over the next two hours will be to destroy documents. Destroy <laughs> the document. <laughs> my one dream is to destroy legal documents. <laughs> 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 Alright, so that'd be the end of the second round. Okay, uh, we stealth into the bridge. Okay, so everyone who's okay, right. so you two are both stealthing, so both roll. Uh, and what is the stealth roll? Thirty six. Did he say anything? Actually, not thirty. I think said thirty six. Yeah, thirty six. Okay, as long as they don't nat one it, I can't fail. Oh, okay. So Asik would then have Asik would have to use a hero point, and then we're like, okay, Asik uses a hero okay, point. Okay, how point. many do we have? Yeah, did we reset after the two. We, were, we will have two. Oh, this is a practice. Come on, we don't have any right now. You're not actually failing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, no, I'm just, I'm just like asking. Okay, and then with, with the quick silver, with, 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 with the four extra, would be yeah, 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 awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So you both, okay, so then still third round, you guys just want to continue what you do at the bridge. Yep, I just so neutralize he three. rolls. Yeah, so yeah, you would then go for three. Your first, cra your first crafting. You're neutralizing and I'm crafting, yeah, yeah. Easy okay, game. easy success. So on the third round, I'm traveling to stables, I'm not doing stealth, it's never going to work. Sure. Leon's heading to... Yeah, you're you're going to take the ones that have gone out, right? 
Yeah, the guys are free. I'll take them on over to uh, rearm them. Yeah, Keeper. yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. And Moon Song, you can get a... Uh, nice, nice, nice. And that would be Society, right? Society, yeah, DC 34. Yeah, yeah you, you know exactly what to do with that, I'm sure, I'm sure. Oh, right, no. great, great. And then I think I'm... Uh, what, what happens next? What happens next? I, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll get out the horses, right? I can do that. Uh, was that 46 ASIC the first preparation or onto the bridge? Yes. Yeah, no. yeah. Nice. Oh, okay, so then, uh, yeah, I'll, sure, I'll, I'll get out the horses then, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll free the horses out of the room. Oh, uh, but luckily, I, uh, 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 the horses, oh shit, they didn't get out, uh, I use a hero point, fuck the horses, get them out, get them out, get the horses, okay, one hero point gone now, thank god for the horses, so. We are on that's, fourth round, right? That's, we're on fourth round, on fourth yeah, round. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going, you're going to attempt your second... I crafting will. one on it, and I will attempt easy. A oh, nice. Yep, and I'm going to attempt a thievery check. Uh, Move your ass on over there, Brumok. Yeah, Brumok. Ooh, okay. I'm, I'm a, would you use a hero point here? Actually, I'm trying to think. Like, you have you. you I have haven't used one yet, so I might. I'm just gonna say um, I, I try it. Otherwise, we'll yeah. take another you know. round, right? Or yeah. 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 We'll another round. We can see after this how many rounds you kind of be winning around for. I guess to see if. How important sure. it would be. Uh, okay, and now, so this is for fun. Leon, you start doing the Arm Depot stuff, right? Yeah, it's going to take a while, I'm sure. Yeah, well, you got to take out all the little guards who are still hanging around, I guess. That's free, right? That was a little cool, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that would be your for fun, and then Moonsong would do her second... Neutralize. Neutralize. Yeah, destroy. Oh, okay, so you would fail that. And this is actually now a DC 30... It goes from 34 to what? 36. 36. Yeah, DC 36. Would you use a hero point or would you try again next time? But you don't really have anywhere else to go either, right, afterwards? Yeah, yeah. no, I think I'll just Okay, okay. Next round. So fourth round. I think if the next round fails, maybe. Yeah, yeah, then maybe. Okay, so that'd be the fourth round. And then the fifth round. Do you want to just go again, Moonsong, while you're there? Uh, of course. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, oh, let's just play. Like, Alright, maybe then you're like, uh oh, this is. Yeah, it's time to use it. Alright, then I'm sure you're fine. I'm sure divine luck will intervene and it will be fine. You know, that's, that's how it works. But <laughs> you've learned. Kind of you've learned. <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll, uh, what's it called? I'll, I'll break some of the stable doors, I guess, you know, just to make sure the horses can go on out easily. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Leon, you'll well, start it. Uh, we're going to move all their gear and stuff, right? Uh, the horse is good. Yeah, yeah. If they're if they're stable and ready, yeah. get all of that out of there. Oh, all right. Sure, sure. Do do that. Do that. Yeah, yeah. And you're just for free looting, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just protecting my boys at this point. Yeah, you should. Yeah, that's good. Good honorable shit. And you're potentially doing the last crafting, right? That's sick. Potentially. Yeah, that would, that would succeed on the last crafting. So Bromok is even, I guess, just chilling. Yeah, yeah. Right? At that point, now I'm just defending until yeah, someone arrives. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then we assume Zombs arrives now. Yeah, I still have time in the stable. I have one more table and then I gotta travel. Yeah. Well, no, I don't need to be there when he's there. Wait, what the fuck? No, you don't. Yeah, yeah, of well, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. This was the first round, we don't need him until 6, I think. Speaking of when we need Dorms, let's talk about those wrenches you, you spoke about, Rom. What are we thinking? If the enemy retaliates, it's gonna be the bridge or the keep. Mm -hmm. What, what do you think? We, if we're done with the keep, right, then it doesn't matter if they yeah. build up and whatever, we can just deal with them when we need it. As Moonsong's still there, when to get there. That's true. Oh shit, yeah, if Moonsong's still there. Mm hmm. We can probably we're, keep we're them gonna away have, for a while, and, but we're gonna have the communication escaping right? from so, me should be no problem at all. Yeah, we, we I can think talk to each other as well, yeah. In general, my backup plan is, because I can, I'm the most likely to be able to succeed on a stealth check, I am the free piece. Yeah, yeah, that's my, true. My, my yeah. primary <laughs> plan is go to the bridge, be there when we, you know, like, to defend and help where possible, but if something gets thrown at another player... I go there instead. Yeah, yeah, you can move fast and quiet. That makes sense. Alright, and then, yeah, I, I just, you know, do a little bit more crunchy, destroy you, you know, knock down a few more stable doors, you're on your own. And whenever shit. we're done with our particular job, we meet back at the bridge. Yeah, yeah, I think so, just so we're all in a central location. Yep. So, yeah, that would be my that would be my sixth round, I would do that, and then I would, seventh round, I guess, start heading back. Hmm, okay, it looks like you can go pretty smooth. 
But she should not have been there for our planning, it's not fair. Yeah, right now he's all right. If she grew up a secret code, we're like, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna not even go to this. I should have, I 100% should have given our sheet not to Chris. We're gonna go to the forge first, Chris. We're gonna be like, change your plans up, it's forge first. <laughs> then I won't know what hit them. We're going to Alice. I haven't even, uh, I haven't even opened it, you know? Like, um, alright. Yeah. <laughs> alright, but I think the only. Uh, what it? Yeah, this, is, this is so much because like I tried for so long to be like, how can I make like a it's branching, really strong. It's really good branching tree of like what you guys would do to like capture a town. But this it's this really gives cool. me a really nice. It's really cool. I, have a, I hope you have a warm fuzzy feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having to act out all these objectives and, and in combat. Yeah, and... yeah, it would, it would take like literally like twenty in game sessions to try to take over a town, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like this size. Well, well, not actually a challenge. Not as that, just 20 sessions of fucking killing shit things. Oh man, the first session would be fun though. <laughs> <laughs> 12 AC, quitting, <laughs> pulling the damage, and was laughing. Um, the second session, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I remember this. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure I could take out. I mean, you could do more because of World One Strike, right? But like. It's literally like. It's very oh, likely yeah. take out one, two, Easily three, one person four, five, second, six. Like... Six. Yeah. In a six around? It's like one a second, right? So it's like like literally one. Basically, yeah. Two in the bodies of yeah. I mean, all, all of us can at this point just like honestly like honestly like, honestly, like Much as like throw a fireball. Who doesn't just like yeah, cast a divine wrath and just like fucking the castle just had blood yeah. pouring out? I was actually gonna ask this <laughs> is could he decrease the number of actions required if he spends a spell check in the destroy vital documents to just blow the place up, basically? But, I mean, the destroyed vital document is already including like the ability to use a spell with the A one, isn't it? So it's like uh... yeah, yeah. Oh well, I thought it was like oh, uh, and you have to use a spell. Yeah, yeah, to make it lower, right? So. Oh right. Yeah, yeah, you can make it lower. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. To decrease it. Good, 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 good. Cool. <clears throat> uh, okay, I mean, I think I yeah, I think like zombies of zombies arriving. If round nobody six. fails, round it's round five. Six. If you want to buffer, it's end of six. I think end of six. End of six. Oh, yeah, and I think we can, can, I can have him there on six. Like, have well, him get there on six. What's because... the downside of just him arriving at eight? I mean, you can we chill have to have the bridge forever. Early. Well, okay, but, like, so the downside of eight, eight is if a wrench gets thrown and delays him for three. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah, sure, so I, I'd rather have him there earlier because we're definitely going to have at least... Yeah, I mean, also now too, like, you've got control of it. You don't want to wait two hours for him to send reinforcements from the new people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want exactly. it. As soon as you've got control, you want to blow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Basically. So six, then. Yeah, six, so I agree. Said... But still a little... <laughs> wait, what's the cheese Jack? As soon as you've got control, you want to blow it. As soon as you got control, that's an interesting way to face it. <laughs> but you also don't want to blow your load early, you know? Yeah, it's that's like, true. It's it's also nice just as we need him, yeah. yeah. Alright, alright. <laughs> I think, the, I think, yeah, I'm worried slight, no. Moonstone alone is a keep for several hours, it's slightly scary, but I think it's okay. That's not a problem. Uh, uh, you guys can just whip there. Like I this. mean, I, I can, first of all, from, at level 17, my answer feet is the one that gives me permanent wings. So I can always just jump off the keep and fly away, like, no problem. Also, I can teleport from my dimension door. Sure, sure. I'm probably the the one that's easiest to escape. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. you have the most uh, get out of here. You and me both. Yeah. yeah. Spelly we cast as you. But yeah, the fucking permanent flying now. You guys um, yeah. communicate mm -hmm. to um, communicate to Zombs like you know the 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 time of day that you need the uh, the assault yeah. to come in. Six um, D plus six. And yeah, like about like probably it's like one week before, so like one week into this. It's a two week period, Zombs like departs with um uh, you know, some of his special projects crew and, and oh, some really? mobile equipment to go and you know make preparations for He doesn't get a teleport oh. okay. <laughs> Too much uh, machinery to teleport you can't teleport all that. He hasn't invented a teleportation. Yeah, they're, taking a lot of, they're taking a lot of lab equipment and reagents with them, so That's fair. That's Could I have like at the start of the two week period offered Saji the extractor, you know, daily whatever she needs to to supply oh. other 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 groups? Uh, could you wait to offer, offer what, sir? Offer, like, Just the structure's capacity, you know, the, uh, like, to supply other, like, strike... Oh, yeah, 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 they'll, yeah, they'll, I mean... Like, at the start of the... Yeah, yeah, they, time. yeah, they would have, um, yeah, definitely... 
made active use of like any that you weren't using to like just basically use it to capacity every day to produce. It doesn't make a list right of what mutants we want to. Because I need because the mute it can't make that many the level a day right for free. I mean, for like, us, we, I would I, for us, I would just use my like we go daily right purchase. You have enough daily ones. More than enough, especially if you're fighting for the those, day. Those don't last, right? Those daily ones. Oh, they, they, they last for the day. day. I mean, they like for, for us, for, for this oh, like for mission, the, for, yeah, yeah, for this yeah. mission, for, for the bar, for the for Saj. And they still get the benefit of the impeccable. Yeah. If I made them during the yeah, during the morning yeah, they, preparations, they, yeah. Put them in the morning. Oh, but, oh, okay. And the ones that you get for free, the free fifty six levels, they then not impeccable. Okay, I remember. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. the, but those don't expire. All these don't expire at the end of the day. It's, sure, yeah, yeah, I remember. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense for them to use it to make crack out levels for food. Yeah, but yeah, like all sorts of like uh, healing elixirs um, and uh, uh, like weapon coatings is all being yeah. Being, yeah, sure. Cool. Steve making loads and loads. Cool, cool, cool. Bombs cool, cool, as well. Cool. I'm doing an early. I, uh, Jack is my witness. So I'm putting down on record what one of my wrenches that I think is going to happen. Jack, don't tell anyone. But if it comes up, I am a literal god. <laughs> I don't know, cuz. You need one witness and what is only one witness. Exactly. No more stressful right, I want to bet. Because Jack made me a VIP. That's what? Why. Like what are we guessing on, or like what's the what, like, what's, what's, what's gonna, gonna go, go wrong? wrong? Oh, what's what are like, yeah. yeah, what are gonna mm -hmm. be like the extra? Yeah, it's gonna go wrong. Like the yeah. hidden objectives and the. Uh, okay. But if but if we think there's gonna be hidden objectives, maybe no, no. But we can still say after the zombies, so no downside to a uh, yeah. Just yep. To... We just need to have at least one person there to defend him. And again, that's why like everything after basically round five for me, assuming that both yeah, ways and I succeed it's... and everything is, I'm just. I'm yeah, going yeah. to be the one who can go and hopefully do some of those things. Yeah, sure. I mean, I think the first four we planned pretty well, but the last four do have to just kind of be play by ear. I, I could definitely see one just because there is a named place with nothing on it. It's a plan, and, right? and, <laughs> That's, that's <laughs> honestly honestly an artifact of the way the map was made more than anything. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. you know, just, just um, maybe. That is, yeah, just in narratively, that's a big open space. Like, um, yep. you know, it's, it has like merchants and whatever set up, but there's like buildings and stuff there. That's where the Colossus yeah. is gonna appear. Uh, exactly. What do I want to be there? The Colossus from StarCraft 2? <laughs> oh, I was thinking Attack on Titan, but yeah. That, that too, yeah. One, one of each. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are going to be attacking the uh, the keep and then fucking another Ender robot's going to start taking shots at you through the windows from the other sides of the yeah. parlor. I don't know what I want to do. I did so. get uh, so I, I couldn't. I didn't want to do the same fucking ancestry feat that both you and Leon were doing. Yeah, I honestly don't really want to get it. Which one is that? Just so the heroic presence. presence. Can... I'll link it. I've put it in, but yeah. Zealous Other heroes run through your veins, and you inspire. I mean, it just says you got a hero run through your veins. How can I not take that? Or the blood heroes? Take several zealous conviction. Automatically it gives and you like a uh, ten free HP and like bonus yeah. things, mental you can make, saves. Or you can have people do stuff. You can have people. You can like give them a command, and they kind of have to follow. I think actually, it's kind of crazy. Madness. Well, I don't know if I repugn them, but it's it's true. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it all might be ends if you do a kind they don't like. It just like you it's assuming you are kind of like commanding them narratively a part of it, you know. Like, right, you know? but it's it's like uh what if it's a command if you're meh about, you know, they're still oh, gonna do it. Well, that's not, oh that's really nice actually. Man, I would go down if I well, had these all kinds of things to be nice. I'd go take one of the shooting ones. Yeah. That, that's no, what's no, unfortunate, it's like a level thirteen. There's a level seventeen one that's pretty cool, but I would have had instead of going down the superstition route where I get bonuses to saves, mm -hmm. I would have gone down the you can't keep me Dude. down or kill me route. And then you get like one that's pretty crazy. I'm literally gonna go like a fucking like level one human ancestry feed play. I don't really want to go the other one, and because like, so like you know, I wish. Do you already so. have advanced general training? No, no, I think that's actually the one I might get. Actually. No, I do. Yeah, but I might just take it. I think I might just take it again. Yeah, because you just gain I a think, general. I think, think that's seven level or lower. Really cool. I think I want to get a. There's a there's a really good feed actually. The uh, what's it called? The general feed. 
that gives you it, but it just it just got better because it's level seventeen one. The what's it called? What's it called? There's another level seventeen one? No, I don't but it's like these. a level one general feat that comes on it, it gets better upgrades oh, okay. Danny Acumen, that's one where you get it become an expert in a safe or uh, yeah, save or perception of your choice. You become an expert but a level seventeen you become a master. So basically, if there's any skill you're not mastering, you can always get it master level. Seven. That's cool. So I, I mean, Will was just expert right now, so I'll just say that and become yeah. master in Will saves, but that's pretty fun. Nice. nice. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, um, yeah, the only thing I want to do in the downtime, so, is I just want to get a general, want to ask around, get a feeling on how the general population is going to react to our uprising. Because. See how, what, what um, so, I mean, a big, a big foundation of the. Uh, I feel like a foundational pillar of the plan is that more support it's, here it's, it's, ex it's, it's, ex it's expected well not just that but it's also it's expected that the citizens are going to basically support better, the rebellion when you know, like when you you know they like you're there's resource expenditure planned to um to co you know combat the dawn and like hold positions against them not to like suppress the local population and like keep everyone in in line and like you know it's like it's, uh, it's generally assumed and like the evidence at least here in 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 god's hold is good so that, that people will kind of you know that's a will go along we'll go along with it when the dawn are you know with the dawn are driven out or, or at least just like keep like, keep living their lives and won't like sort of be like hey we want the dawn back uh, and like riots in the streets and stuff. I mean, it's 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 definitely like a point of you know conversation. People like sort of theorize about like what the reaction might be and like and how to best sort of like market the you know the narrative. Because I mean, you, you know, part, a big part of it is also they're hoping that as the rebellion grows and success continues, that you know they can use that to like mass recruit from the local population and you know bolster the numbers and and use those to like you know to fortify like the positions they're trying to hold so that more experienced fighters can be freed up to. You know, it's like it's all part of the. It's, I mean, like the various options are being considered, but like, yeah, it's part of the plan that it's going to be generally positively received. Nice. That's the hope. They may be better. Fucking, we will be a lot more hedge mm. mm. We're the heroes, Shaka. It really loves us. Yeah, but so far. And so far, I mean, so far, honestly, the few interactions we've had towns I mean, bad. Like there was a time yeah. with the gallows, they all like kind of like kept quiet, just let us leave, and then you know. We've we barely tried yeah, to Yeah, but, but very, very Did you like so. murder in Tower yeah. Port City? No. It was a, uh, a port hideout. It was, it, was a, it, was a, it was a military port. It was a military encampment. Everybody was in yeah, 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 exactly. Mm -hmm. like, military encampment. Okay. Okay. No war crimes were committed. No civilians were okay. okay. All oh, right. No war crimes. What was this? How do you commander the ship? Yeah, the military like boat in Campen, you know, like the ship where the ship but was. We to the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the that, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what it means, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. still a military encampment. I'm sure there were no, you know, regular fishermen or. You know. What? Wait, what are you saying? Wait a second, it was like a trap for us, remember? Like, we got that only demons showed up. We did it show up, that's true. Yeah, yeah, we were defending ourselves. Yeah, whenever I start doubting us, demons or devils start to show up, so... Yeah, exactly. You know, like, are we the bad guys? And then, like, a devil shows up with, like, blood on his, you know, head and, like, you know, slave collars, and we're like, okay, we good boys. <laughs> we good boys. Alright. Right. Right. I mean, you know, well, you know if, you think, if you think it was bad, it's pretty euphemistic every time on this map it says, neutralize the defenders, <laughs> free. You know, like, it's a... <laughs> that's a bit of a meat that's a bit of a meat I, grinder every time that action's taken. Would you knock everybody out? That is the only sadness of not taking that action enough, you know. This is the only thing suddenly realistic Beck would be in the stable so everyone else is going, I'm killing the Freeing the horse. I imagine you know, kill a couple just now. <laughs> maybe what maybe who knows, maybe the stables will turn out to be more defended than you thought. I fucking hope so. <laughs> it's it's, be it's back. the actual hardcore. Mm. Good hopes so. Yeah, I'll save all my bloodlust for uh, the next fort. That one will be. Uh, is that it for the session then? Uh, yeah, more or less. Unless anyone else has something they want to, um, you know, to to role play or do narratively, speak to anyone um, during the um, the downtime period. Um, some retraining of spells. Um, or like in, I mean, indeed, between Tom and Josh as Saji and Alandria, if there's anything that you would like mm. to do from that position. 
um, organized. I, I will go on the mission myself. Um, that, that, <laughs> that, you don't necessarily have to answer that now. That can be like spoken to outside a session if there's like conversations you want to have had with anyone, including, um, you know, long years given you have contact with him. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's also... Sure, sure. But yeah, I think otherwise, this is that's basically all I had. Uh, nice. Uh, all I had intended for now. Unless, so we go. Uh, and yeah, so <laughs> basically, yeah. So the um, the beginning of next session, also, so, so to set the scene, mm. um, the, you know, the day comes. Um, plans have been made. Much of the resistance is gathered here in the sewers, but many are like already. In, you know, four positions in other places ready to, like, you know, kick off other plans and get them all underway. You guys are level 17, you're fully geared up, you got all the consumables that you've, you know, been preparing for weeks and stuff. Time is here. Um, and you, you know, you head as a... Well, you, actually, you guys aren't sort of, I don't know, go at the, at the exact head of this, um, because there's, like, there's a kind of a few phases to the insertion. Basically, the, um, there is access that the dawn is allegedly unaware of to the to the keep for daybreak i believe it is called in my notes about uh this part of the world some some distant place um uh like there's like a long and deep and ancient tunnel that you have to take that goes like beneath the lake because the fort is on an island in, in this in the center of a lake and therefore sort of like generally as you would be assumed to be inaccessible by yeah. tunnel um, but nevertheless, you know the the, the way is the way is there, um, and w you know with a you know sort of distant boom, um, you know you guys know that the attack has begun. Of the, there's some, some cellar wall somewhere has been blasted open, uh, and yeah, like the not not like quite the masses. It's not like a sort of a committed, but like yeah, gr groups of you know you people start moving forwards, and yeah, you can hear like the sound of. Fighting begins ahead, and, and you guys, you know, move through it all, and uh, yeah, stride forwards, ready to to begin the the uh, the uprising for real. Mm, for real, this it's time. the final for chapter, all. baby. Final chapter, doors. <laughs> and uh, and that is where we shall begin next time. Oh, oh another final day. <clears throat> da -da -da. Well, hopefully not, actually. Hopefully not. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh. Nice. Okay, so we'll do a fun little mini game. Dude, it's gonna be interesting to see how badly the wolves go when we've all. Like, Look, can we do one last uh, really fun really item fun. Long traveling really loot roll? What? <laughs> roll. <laughs> yeah. you, how do you good luck convincing Chris? I know. <laughs> uh, but like, let's just. In the vaults of the resistance. Whatever you're doing. Exactly. We're gonna all roll on the loot table just for fun. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. let's have a nice one. But I want to roll bad, so I don't, don't feel sad. Okay, roll bad then. That's not my rule. I'm not trying to update it. Hey, it's good. <laughs> oh, it's funny oh, too. Oh, Chris, you made well. You made well of the last roll. Look, we all would have failed yep. anyway. Let's go. See why well, you should have said yes, Chris, and then you would be like, "What?" A we would be like, "Man, that DM is so nice. He gave us a chance." You know. Wouldn't worry about that. We want to see so bad. Battle lines have been drawn. Sorry, 